Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! What up, man? It's your boy, Shaw. Shaw vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 159. You already know, man. Voice of the City. Best podcast in the motherfucking city, man. Ain't no competition. You know what it is, man. But we got a special guest in the building, man. He got a couple of hats, too, man. You a fuck. We gonna start the most important hat. You a father and shit, dog. Yes, sir. Yes, got, sir. Father, man. director, writer. She's she rapper, actor, security, bodyguard, yeah. this motherfucker. <laughs> do do she, everything, he, uh He used to go by what, yo? Fast De Niro? Yeah. Yeah, uh, man, uh, but now he a uh, motherfucker, uh, Black Chapo. Yes, sir. What's good with you, yes, all right? Sir. Yep, everything good, man. What's up, Wayne? What, what, why you, uh, why you change your name, man? Like, what was up with the with the original, man? Like, y'all know you said you was a, you was a heavy set dude or something, right? Yeah, I was I was a bigger, but yeah. I had fast when I was, when I was little, you know, because mm -hmm. my, uh, my granddad name was fast. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I was a fat baby. Yeah, for sure. You know for what sure. I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so they just caught, they just stuck yeah, with just you. Yeah, just stuck with you, dog. Yeah, Hell so, yeah. But then I got the name Black Chapo because uh, I was locked up and uh, my cellie was his white boy. And yeah. I, all my, I was like, I used to come in and spit my shit to him. And he'd be like, man, you like a Black Chapo. And yeah. I was like, damn. <laughs> That's I, your heart. I'm running with that shit. Fuck it. You know? Hell yeah, shout out to the white dude, dog. <laughs> Give me your name and shit. <laughs> Always the white man. Sorry, I'm bullshit. But uh, we start off um, every motherfucking episode, man, with Salute Me While I'm Here. But the only mm -hmm. thing about it, you know, because a lot of times you wait to get people they flowers once they pass away. Yeah. We don't tell you know him or her how we how we you know what I'm saying care about them and shit until they they gone and shit can't even mm -hmm. see that that love. But it can't be the easy answer. It can't be parents. It can't be basically it can't be family. It gotta be somebody who wouldn't expect the salute and the shout out. So you got somebody you want to go ahead and you know send some flowers to? Say it can't be family. It can't be uh. No family. No easy answer, man. Like mom, dad, right, lady, your kids and shit. It gotta be somebody out of that. That easy answer. And they supposed to be what motivation or somebody just just somebody that you know you just want to you know show some love to. They doing their thing and shit, man. You want to you know what I'm saying show them that you appreciate them and shit. Uh, let me see, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got. I don't think I got nobody this week, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even salute like a motherfucker, boy. Oh, somebody who doing their thing. Who um? Well, you just want to go ahead and show some, spread some love, show some love to, man. Uh, I'm gonna give it to uh my man uh 876 Films. Okay. Who, who did the movie? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, so he, uh, how long you been doing movies? Like, or how long he been? No, this was his first movie. I like gamble. We gambled on each other pretty much. For sure. And um, my man Mike brought him to me. You yeah. Know? And you know, it's been all love since then. But it's just working with me. It's gonna be difficult because <laughs> I'm spontaneous. I yeah. might call you at twelve o'clock at night. Like nigga, I'm right here with yeah. baby face red, such and such man. For get sure. the camera. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, and yeah. My yeah. Folks, I'm in the bed, man. I ain't feeling. But he, he, he. he he wouldn't have put up with the bullshit. You for know? sure, for sure. Because he see the, he see the vision. So. Okay, do so you think it was better doing it with somebody that, that was like, you know what I'm saying, new to it, like on the come up, like instead of somebody who just, you know what I'm saying, seasoned vet in his mother? Uh, pretty much, you yeah. know, because uh, like I said, I, uh, you know, everybody like to do, do things their way, you mm -hmm. know? For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, mm -hmm. man. Nah, man, we, shit about to be summertime, man. Shit, half the year almost over. Damn, that shit went by quick. 2023 gone, almost gone. But talk about like, you know what I'm saying, Coming from 2022 to 2023, what was some shit that you wanted to accomplish? What were some goals you had? Like, how would you see yourself within this year? Within this year? Yeah. Uh, shit, I'm through the roof now. I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, last year it was all, you know, we was striving and grinding, you know? Yeah, for seeing sure. The, seeing the vision and, you know, and, you know, I just built, you know, built the cake off crumbs and just kept on trying to just do what I can do, you know? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's all you can do, though. Yeah. That's all you can do, like. Like for 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 a dude like you, man, like you know, you seem a little, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, thuggish and shit. I ain't gonna say thug, but you know, <laughs> right. a little hard and shit, man. You feel me? Like, but a lot of times people don't like to talk about like, you know what I'm saying, when they going through some shit, dog. Like when you going through some shit, man, like what what ease your mind? How do you like, you know what I'm saying, get through pain and shit or like you know what I'm saying? Like how do you get through that shit? Um, my my, my, my biggest problem is I avoid it. Mm -hmm. So I act like shit don't even happen, you yeah. know. Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker, be funny. motherfucker, like you know, such and such this, this has to happen. I'd be like, all right, and I just go, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try not to show that side of me, but you know, eventually, shit happen. Yeah, you know. Why well, though? Like, is that because I niggas like we we think that's a sign of weakness when we show like you know what I'm saying we fucked up over some mm -hmm. shit? Like, is it because of that or like 
Just like that, this is how you was raised. No, it's just like um. I just don't ever like showing that side, man. Either. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 a real personal person. Like I For laugh sure. and joke, but ain't nothing funny. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I laugh For and joke, sure. but ain't nothing funny at the end of the day. So I just do yeah. that just to pass time and keep from dealing with you know yeah. demons that a nigga got going on himself and hell yeah, you know, a bunch of shit, bro. man. But a lot of us like that though. Like when you, especially like you know, saying growing up, like it's a new day right now. Like a lot of motherfuckers they be talking about mental, you know, health and mm -hmm. and going to therapy. But back in the day, like you know, what I'm saying coming up, like niggas was shit. If you if you did go to see a therapist, you ain't want nobody to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was personal, like nigga. Fuck, like that's like nigga going to a lady purse, nigga. You don't do that shit. You don't <laughs> let that. <laughs> well, you know, black people didn't do do therapy back then. Your mama, the teacher say he need therapy. Your yeah. mama was, man, I ain't that, what that bitch talking about? What well, she would, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. <clears throat> but now kids play on that type of stuff, you know? No, for sure. And then the fucked up thing about it, sometimes people use it and they ain't really going through some shit. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so using that shit as an excuse. You never know if nobody faking or not, you know? <laughs> no, for sure. Hell yeah. What's some shit you learned about yourself this year, dog? That you didn't even know, like you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I'm fucked up, or damn, no. I'm, a, I'm a good dude. I, no, I always knew I was a good dude. Yeah. And I also knew I was fucked up, dude, too. <laughs> it depends on how you push me. For sure. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? But uh, in reality, I learned um, how to be a closer. Okay. okay. You know, because I, I, I always started a lot of stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and always couldn't finish because of different reasons. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. Not Hell. that I didn't want to finish, but. So it's just good to be, I'm, I'm just practicing my clothes and kind. For sure. Now, we're going to get to the movie a little later, but was there ever a time with shooting this movie like that you almost had a point that you was going to like, man, fuck this shit as a rap. I ain't, I ain't going to even finish it. Since you say, you know, you learn how to be a closer now. Like, was there a time that you ever thought about like saying fuck the movie? Never. Okay. <laughs> even though 99.9 .9 people would have quit. Yeah. You hell know what yeah. I mean? But definitely, I... Um, I, I, this is something I had to finish. You know what I mean? For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. No, nah, for sure. What's something? You, what's something you need to work on to this day? I need. To, I need to work on. Yeah, like you said, um, you had to get through the whole closing part. Like, you know, what I'm saying I finish this shit up. Boundaries. With... Okay. Boundaries definitely. Because yeah. I'm, I'm a good dude, mm -hmm. so I will meet you and let you like let you into my circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, you never know what the next man got going on. No, nah, for so sure. Hell yeah. I gotta start. You know, like I'm too I'm too valuable of a piece out here to just <laughs> be having motherfuckers just in my mix. Be Hell yeah. Rich. No, we, and then we me and my cousin because uh, well, it's my wife cousin man, but. Mm -hmm. We got super tight, like you know, certain certain age, you be like, nigga, shit, ain't no, ain't no such thing as new friends and shit right, like right, that. Right. You know, what I'm saying you grow with your day ones and shit, and then mm -hmm. if something happens, it just happens, like you know, what I'm saying. But for me to get tight with him, like damn, like nigga, you cool as fuck. So like when you say those boundaries, like how do you know when to let people inside that circle? Like all right, they cool. I go ahead, you know, what I'm saying I see that he a genuine person. I mean, you, it's, it's about earning it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Show me, show me why you deserve this spot. Yeah, because it, it'd be different if it was like I said, you know, you laugh and joke, but ain't nothing funny. Yeah. So I ain't on playtime, and I'm <laughs> dealing with this and that. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. if you come in, you know, yeah, man, just, just earn, work, work for it. You know? No, for sure. It go. What about it go for women too, though? When you fuck around with relationships, like, so I'm saying, how women, women get close to you, though? Like, uh, I don't. I, I struggle with that problem to this day. Like, oh, the shit. relationship I'm in now, yeah. my girl be like, well, you don't even, you didn't even tell me how today. Where you didn't say this. <laughs> You're not going to say good morning. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's good morning. You're like, well, what the fuck I got to say it for? You know? <laughs> so I've just never been uh, an intimate dude like far as relationships, you know? Yeah. And that that it, it kind of hurt me because to see my girl crying, yeah. you know, and stuff like for sure. that. No, Based fast. on the fact that she said I don't give a fuck. And I'm yeah. like, I'm thinking about this money. I'm thinking about this yeah. and life. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. You there? Yeah, yeah. You should know. Yeah, right, so. yeah, yeah. But I think you know we all I mean? kind of like probably struggle with that. All three of us in this room, like, like. I know I, sh I, I struggle with that affection shit. Like, like, damn. When you think about it, like, all right, I got to mm -hmm. do this shit. Because then, with me, I always think about if I don't say something, then that, that, that nigga Craig going to say something. You feel me? Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> like, if you don't notice her feet got done, her motherfucking hair, like, and then my man do, mm -hmm. she like, damn, my nigga don't even be thinking about me. Like, yeah. So I think about shit like that a lot, dog, because I don't want to get bad dough and shit, motherfucker. What's that? What you say, sport coat? Sport coat, yeah. <laughs> he, he coming. <laughs> he ain't playing. Now, yeah. no disrespect to your relationship now, but. Have you ever messed up a relationship in the past, like just off of that shit, like not being affectionate enough? Yeah, my um, my kid's mom, uh, she uh used to try to, you know, want me to be affectionate, right? So one yeah. time, um, uh, I come in like three or four in the morning and shit, and yeah. I um, you know, the lights off, yeah, right? She yeah. got candles lit and shit, yeah. you know. And I come in and I blow the candle out, <laughs> and I turn the lights off. Like, what you trying to have a seance in this motherfucker? Turn the lights off. <laughs> 
And then she had like lingerie. And I'm like, why is you naked at four in the morning? What the Duh. fuck? And I lay on the couch drunk. When I wake up, she crying like, I dressed, I did my hair for you. You didn't even pay attention type shit. And I'm damn. Like, I'm like, damn. I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about no shit like that. You know I'm just, Yo, he came in and blowing the lights out like blowing the candles out. Fought the whole mood up. I had Barry playing in the background. Nah, I'm like, I didn't know what the fuck she was trying to do, you know? No, no, that's hilarious, dog. That's funny because, as hell. Like I said, I'm not, I wasn't an intimate person, so, you know, sex was just yeah. roll over. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they, they go keep it moving, you know? Yeah, so I, 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 can, I can say you ain't the type of nigga be holding at the words, nigga. You like, <laughs> nigga, turn around and go to sleep. Like. <laughs> My girl cussed me out the other day, talking about I, I turned the other way. <laughs> I'm like, I sleep better this way. I don't want them to still be holding you. Shit, what the fuck? <laughs> like, no, that shit crazy, dog. No, yeah. That shit funny. They could be holding. Like, I'll be holding this shit sometimes. But then y'all aren't getting tired. Like, all right, let me turn around, nigga. Yeah, you get about a good 10 minutes of holding from me, dog. That's right. it, dog. No, I, I can see that shit. That that's a, that's a movie shit right there, nigga. Yeah. Coming in drunk and, and fucking blowing them candles out, dog. Yeah, that's how I be doing the screen, the, the, screen, the, the, the stuff in my life. Mm -hmm. Already the habit is, like, I didn't even have no script really. I just just go off, yeah, off of shit like that. You know, like that's gonna be a coast. <laughs> dog, that shit. That's so when y'all see it in the movie, y'all know where it came from. Hell no, dog. What's your, what's your day to day life though? Without I know you into music, you into. You know what I'm saying movie shit, but what's your what's your life away from that shit? How 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 you get down like, on, on your day to day shit? Uh, shit, I'm pretty much uh, I'm always eat. I just be riding around, yeah. go to my sister's house, kicking with my people. You yeah, know, me and my girl go to the casino and shit. For sure. And, uh, pretty much that's about it. Oh, you know, I yeah. don't do much, but I'm always thinking. Yeah, in my head. Your next move. Yeah, my next move. Yeah. Now, nah, dog, you you know what I'm saying? I know you probably been through a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? You kind of mentioned about, you know, you, you did some time. How do you feel, like, because I want to get off this shit because it, everybody ain't talked about it so much, but, like, a nigga like John Morant, who got all this bread, dog, worth 200 million with endorsement deals and shit like that, mm -hmm. but he still want to play that street role so so tough. Like, how do you feel? Because I seen one nigga, like, it was a Crip nigga from Cali. It was like, dog, like, you don't want this life, nigga. Like, if you do, you can come kick with me for a weekend. I swear to God, you will be going back, nigga, to, to the crib, like, how do you feel about a nigga like that, like, trying to show he a gangster so much, but, nigga, you worth all these motherfucking M's? Man, I think uh, he definitely need a mentor. Yeah. You know, but he ain't doing nothing. Ain't no other kids his age doing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He doing his regular shit. But you ain't no regular nigga. <laughs> so, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what he need to realize. Yeah. He just want to be like a normal, like, Hell yeah. my son might do some shit like that or somebody else uh, just so, like, Jesus bullshit at that age. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's why I say he need a mentor. You can't do that. For sure. You know, like when Shaq came in the league, uh, John Sally came to him. Mm -hmm. Listen, he go. This is what you do. Call this bitch, but she ain't gonna say yeah, you raped her. And, this, sure. this, this. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. how they. That's how they did it. Yeah, they must no. don't do it no more because he would have been already schooled. You yeah, feel me? nigga would be on his head heavy. Yeah. That's why a nigga like you down has him for Miami. He a vet. Niggas yeah. be clowning him like nigga. He don't play, but nigga but he, he they got, got him for the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna get out of line. Nigga, he 20 years in the game, and he beat your yeah. ass, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Why you think Juwan Howard was on the bench for so long? Exactly, you know? exactly. He was in that motherfucking Miami Mafia yeah. until he went to go ahead and go with Michigan yeah. and shit. You need them niggas. Like, even if they ain't playing, you need somebody who been through some shit. Like you said, show you how to uh, manage your money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, don't be on social media showing everything. Yeah, one of my best friends was uh, Ty Burke, and he played for Syracuse. He played for Persian. Mm -hmm. Willie Mitchell and all them niggas, mm -hmm. back-to-back -back states. And um, when it for Ed Warden, like, it was... You know, at that time, yeah. we had the bowls and everything, and they seeing us riding this. For sure. It's kind of hard for them not to come dabble. Yeah. And then they got the lamb like, you know, niggas, hey, man, where can I get that shit from? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you be like, bro, you, <laughs> you yeah. don't want to fuck with this shit, bro. But, for sure. You know, yeah. yeah but. Who was some OGs for you, though, who kept you in line? Like, and did you allow niggas, like, to kind of, like, check you who was, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah, had yeah. OG status? Definitely. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, Wipeout. Okay. Yeah, that was one of my mentors, uh, yeah. Pimpin' Ken out of okay. Milwaukee. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. the one got me to do the uh, documentaries, the movies and stuff like that in the books. Yeah. I got all that from Ken, because every time you see him, he got a DVD or a book he's selling. For sure, hell so yeah. So I said, the dude say, uh, this is what really got me. He said, Pimpin' Ken. I just, dude, he said, buy the DVD. Dude said, I just brought one. Yeah. He said, well, I'm Pippa Ken. I'm actually about to buy it again and again. <laughs> yeah, he so. said, damn, you cold. He brought the same book from the man that he just brought. <laughs> yeah. I said, this motherfucker right here. No, so, for sure. <clears throat> after that, I'm like, yeah, he on to something, you know? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know? But I, see, and then, like I said, man, these niggas nowadays, sometimes they don't even want, they don't even want nobody to even check them on their fuck-ups. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You need them OGs, them uncles, them big brothers, like... Especially if you ain't got no father at the crib mm -hmm. to check your ass when you do some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like yeah. I said, this nigga, my brother, like, 
I do some silly shit, they gonna check me. They ain't gonna call me on my name, everything, bro. Right, like, for real. You know what I'm saying? You need that shit, bro. Was every time a nigga try to put you on some game and you ain't listening, that shit turned out bad. No, nah, cause I'm always uh, I'm a, I'm an open book. If you if you lace me with something, I'm 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 a I'm gonna take what I can get out of it. For sure. I mean, you could be telling me your whole complete plan is wrong, but just ten percent of it's right. Yeah, you're I'm gonna take like, that little shit, piece. You got that last ten he said though. Hell that yeah. might be that For might sure. be the, you know what I mean? Yeah. He fucking it up. <laughs> hell yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go ahead and take that bitch and remix. Plan it. Right, yeah. For yeah. sure, hell yeah. Speaking of like, you know what I'm saying, getting advice and game and shit, what's what's the worst advice and, and the best advice you ever received from someone? Worst advice was uh Quit trying to be me. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Don't don't try to do no movie. Get, uh, get you a square job. And yeah. this, this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the best advice was uh, I was trying to sign this female artist, right? Okay. So uh, I ran into uh, Tay B at, uh, at the casino. So okay. I'm like, hey, man, uh, I need you to be in this movie. I'm like, what you going to charge me? He a real nigga. He like, I ain't going to charge you shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got you. You know what I mean? For sure. So um, the artist I was trying to sign was this female. I say, man, um. I can get you a song with Tay B because she got a good following. For sure. So I know if I can just put my pen to her because yeah. I had quit rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, I ain't finna be rapping, man. Fuck that shit. Yeah, for sure. You know? So I uh, uh, I could write for her. Yeah. So I'm like, I can get you a song with Tay B. She like, send me the song and this, this, this. And I'm like, man, yeah. man I ain't even got the verse yet. <laughs> just tell, I yeah, can. I can let's, do it. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's meet up and let me see how your attitude is and see if it's even worth me investing my money and send me the sure. verse for you. Yeah. So then I called my man Scott. Scott, he in the movie. That's one of my one of my best friends. And, okay. Um, I was telling him about the situation. He said, man, I told you better yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I called TB and I was like, oh, you still go do the movie? He like, yeah. I'm like, but it's done. Yeah. But I need the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like, first? I said, I'm doing a soundtrack. He said, you got the song done? I'm like, yeah. He said, yeah. send it to me. Yeah. I didn't have the song done. <laughs> yeah. So I called my man, 876 fit. Hey, bro, go to the studio right now. I need to... And yeah. I did the quickest eight bars and sent it to him. You know yeah, what I mean? For sure, yeah. And yeah. he killed me. He murdered me. So yeah. I had to go back and do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to get something to him. For sure. Hell yeah. yeah. Get it out there. So that was the best advice he told me to bet on myself. So now yeah. I've been dropping music and I'm back I'm back active. So so a young lady, I, I can I can just guess that you ain't really mess with her no more as no, far I as mean, like she probably don't even know. She probably thought I was bullshitting. Yeah. I mean she probably know when I sing when she see the video <laughs> that it's gonna drop. Like damn, I could have like, I could have been on that verse and I would have been not rapping, managing her, but for sure, hell Love yeah, it. hell yeah, dog. But shit, you think it's gotta be? It gotta be tough, bro, to manage a, a female artist because you gotta do. Where a dude, he just come as is. Where where yeah. a girl, you you want them to motherfucking be attractive, attractive on mm -hmm. on on the, on, the, on, the, on the looks and make sure you gotta keep up their uptake with hair, nails, this and the third. Yeah, it ain't managed, just about the music. I managed a female before. Okay, and um, uh, I had book baby money and I, she was opening up. Mm -hmm. all right, so I did all that stuff, got her off. Got her off your floor and everything. Mm. Two hours before the show, she called me and said she don't want to go. Yeah. I'm like, why not? She's like, I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Duh. So I'm like, all right. Well, she had to change her outfit, put pants on instead. For sure. And she came in. She came into the thing and rocked it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But I think she like had a boyfriend that was kind of straining her against it. So I yeah. kind of that's why that's another thing. We never even yeah. You be her a, song, you, you being know? a dude and you and she got a dude. He looking like who's this nigga? Like, yeah. bro, that shit. It's, it got to be a, yeah. a lot of shit that go on when you imagine shit artist period, especially a, a, a young lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, is that something that you're looking to do now? Like as far as like. Match more artists or man, I get so many DMs about managing. Yeah. And um like I said, I'm I'm making my bubble tight now. For sure. So you gotta show me. Yeah. Send me some music. Do some shows on your own. Mm -hmm. Because people get it confused. Like they think managing is just I'm finna pay for all your shit and get you out there. Mm -hmm. No, that, that ain't that ain't just what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You gotta work yourself and, and, and build build a buzz. Also, it helped me for sure. Hell yeah, help me, help yeah. me get you. You definitely, that's definitely true. Cause yeah, they think like, okay, you got this label's manager, you supposed to connect me, give me shows, give me this, yeah. give me money, give me, you know what I'm saying? When they, they think they ain't supposed to do nothing yeah, but make that's music. That's the executive producer. That's not the manager. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? Like so, they need to look up the definition. And, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Now you, uh, you, you, we speaking of music, man. You see a lot of motherfucking artists popping out the city, man. A lot of male artists popping out mm -hmm. the city. Uh, it's, it's a couple females, but what do you think hold hold the city back as far as like the female rappers and why they not taking off and and blowing up as as you know like these dudes are like the Peasies, the Vezos, the Baby Money, the Baby Face Rays. Like, um, I mean, we got cast out, but she it don't seem like she really yeah, put yeah. 
too much to the music because she do a movie, she do a lot of shit. Yeah. And I know her last situation was kind of fucked up, but we got a lot of female artists out here too, but they not like blowing up. Yeah, it's it's uh I think what it is is I ain't gonna say the world ain't ready for it. Yeah. But it comes down with like the same thing, you know, trust issues, mm -hmm. stuff like that, like thinking every nigga trying to fuck. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah. So like they don't understand their hand or open up or every nigga, but most of the time that's what it is. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, so oh, nigga might DM them and say, let's work. Yeah. And then nigga, that, that they don't want to do that. Yeah. And then, or either they either give it up too fast or don't. Yeah. So for either sure. way yeah. it goes, nigga like, but I'm straight. Yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? If that's what, like, as far as like, I'm going to say, I ain't going to say, as far as one of these mainstream artists in Detroit helping them out, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. That motherfucker DM that that DM that's work gonna turn to a dick pic <laughs> real quick. Like damn. You said good morning, now nah, you damn. you a creep now, nah, nigga. Like <laughs> you know how that shit be, dog. Like I got all the bad girls in my movie and I ain't trying to hit none of them. Yeah, you had a couple of us on this show, man. <laughs> you you know had what I'm a, saying? So, you had Big Court, shout out to Big Court. Yeah, I ain't uh, trying I ain't try to mess with none of them for the simple fact that I like to keep that shit business though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Now you ain't mess with one, but have you ever had one like, damn, if I, nigga, you don't know. No, I picked them because they look decent. Yeah, for you sure. Feel me? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I know what I'm on. Mm -hmm. But I ain't going to turn nothing down with my collar, like I said, but I ain't going to pursue nothing either. For sure, for sure. Can't <laughs> fuck up. Yeah, can't fuck up workplace, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. A lot of niggas fuck shit up, dog. Fuck up good relationships. I ain't mm -hmm. seen shit on Instagram. Niggas beefing because they used to fuck with each other. Now they yeah. beefing because they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit crazy, dog. That's why I say I'm glad. I, I'm glad I'm out the game. We talked that shit, but I'm glad, nigga, I ain't got to yeah. worry about that shit, bro. Gonna be some bad chicks on the show. Niggas always let me know. Like, man, you had a bad one. Like, yeah, I know, nigga. <laughs> yeah, they gonna let you know for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, um, speaking of advice, man, what what was your first adult decision, man? Like, like, damn, I had to make this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a hard decision to make, and but I stuck with it. Uh, shit, move out the grill. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you moved out earlier. You saying I want niggas to left at sixteen and shit? I moved fifteen. 16, oh, see, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, well, why, why, why was that, man? You just like, well, my um, my uh. Stepfather came into the program, okay. and I went from getting Jordans. He didn't believe in spending hundred dollars on shoes and stuff. My yeah. mama was kind of following his lead, for sure. And, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you went to wait. Like you go to work or you go move around, you know? Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, I already know what that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit. Yeah, for sure. This ain't bland. They got everybody back. That's all. Talk to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not dog. Right. You, you OG man. Mm -hmm. I got. I asked a lot of motherfuckers this question, but it's gonna be funny to ask you this shit, dog. When last time you cried? What was the reason why, dog? Shit, dog. Um, Cause niggas don't like telling that shit, bro. Last time I cried, bro. Nigga, damn, it was like 1990. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nah, shit, I cried uh, this month for something. For sure. Cause like, nah, that's some shit that niggas don't like to talk about, bro. Niggas don't cry, shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> argue, argue with my, argue, argue with my, argue with my girl for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but. And it was based off her saying, I don't give a fuck type of shit. And I'm like, listen, because I had some, I got some real life shit going on. For sure. At that point. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm like, man, you tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No, no, for sure. Hell yeah. Damn. I, I remember my, my, uh, my wife seen me cry. I was mad as hell about that shit, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kobe died. I was at his balling. Man. man. <laughs> I mean, that was like, that was my brother, dog. Now, um, you spoke in a little bit, dog. And now I don't want to, like, being locked up. And how you got your name and shit, man. My man gave you, say, man, you spitting black, black chopper on this motherfucker, mm -hmm. dog. But I want to just talk about, like, I don't want to even know why you went there or nothing, but talk about your first day in, first night, and your last night. Like, how, how like, how, what was your thought process on on, on both nights, man? Because that first night, I, of course, it's way different from that last night, but what would you think on both those nights? Yeah, the first night, you just like, man, shit, you don't know what you was, what you facing. Mm -hmm. So you just take a deep breath, shake it off, and walk up in that motherfucker. You know, whatever happens, happens. You yeah, know? for sure. And Hell then, yeah. You know that. But that last night, man, you got you got you a blueprint put together, mm -hmm. and you ready to take off. You know, for sure. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. So you didn't become a Muslim when you was in there. Like a lot of niggas be Muslims no, and shit. I, like. I ain't get a Muslim time, but uh, you know, I keep on you know, with my people. Yeah, I like, used to go to Juma on Fridays and stuff because they okay. had, like I said, I'm gonna take what I can take out of it. For sure. So I come up there, them boys be cold. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They almost be, <laughs> they be like the Christian did this with like breaking it down yeah, so cold. When you like, man, damn, hold on now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. You, Ma, the dude, <laughs> I'm calling home, talking about my mother, man, see, you know what I mean? No, for but sure. I you know, I'm, 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 I'm my own person, though, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to. 
Cause like man, I remember like my my cousin did a little little time and stuff like mm-hmm. that, man. But it's like it's funny when you hear them on the phone, especially when they be talking to a young lady, cause they be selling their ass a dream. Yeah. Cause they ain't seeing women, of course. Besides like you know what I'm saying, people mm-hmm. at work there. But like, yeah, when I get down and marry you, this and third, oh, yeah. and you come back out and be a dirt bag all over again. Uh-huh. Like, I had the coldest spill. <laughs> I sent the same letter to probably fifty, cause. <laughs> I was locked up out of state. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Where, where, so where at? I was in, uh, locked up in Minneapolis, I mean, in Minnesota, and I was uh, in Wisconsin, right? Okay. So what I would do, I would go and knock on everybody's door and be like, hey, man, hook me with a fat chick. Or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I, my spiel was, I hope by the time you get this letter, it finds you the best to help us stand forever strong. Me, as far as myself, I'm just sitting in the steel concrete hotel. <laughs> Uh, that's like when I say, uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember it all the way, but uh, you know what I mean? But I had to spill down, pack it out. And they'd be like, you're so into it. Like, they'd write me back. <laughs> it's your <so> deep. <laughs> I'm in the visiting room two days later. Duh. Canteen, you know, like, that's yeah, how do it. Sure. <laughs> Hell no, <dog>, no, <laughs> that shit. And then get out and be like, I'm gone. Hell yeah. Hell no. <laughs> you just need that little time while you was there. Somebody talk to us, shit, dog. Man. Damn, that shit funny, man. But. but for the record, I got a good one now. So if I ever went back, she she hold me down. So I ain't got to do that type of shit sure, no more. Sure. But shit? then, yeah. motherfucker freestyle like fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we no. got the yellow pages, and you got twenty second free phone call. Yeah, I'm six three. Uh, the dress. Well, you say you, you say what you got to say to the phone. You know what I mean? And they be like, where you at? Yeah, the address. This about oh, niggas just trying they look. Duh. The other pages. So niggas are doing that. Like, just niggas was coming up. Dog, that's fun. Yeah. Dog. Next Damn. thing you know, they taking a picture and then they in the visiting room. You know, yeah. dog, dog. So you just so you building relationships just off of motherfucking chicks you see in the name in the yellow pages. Yeah. Damn. That's what they was eating. That shit. That's before old Facebook mm-hmm. and all that bullshit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was before all that. But then once the Facebook came, it was over. Yeah. You know. Dog, that was shit. over once the book came. Yeah, that's funny as hell. That nigga say I'm six three dress. <laughs> 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 they gotta say a spiel real quick. You know what I mean? No, I never heard that shit before. Yeah, dog. he throwing that out there, shit. Damn, and you, and you said you was catching them too, huh? Yeah. Dog, he was calling me Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, dog. Jeter and that motherfucker, man. Dog, that's hilarious, dog. Mm-hmm. That's classic, bro. <laughs> and I kept something going on my whole life. Yeah. So you can go to my YouTube channel, well, whatever. You know For what sure. I mean? So yeah. we're like, you know, documentation be conversation. So For sure. I'm, when I tell you that I'm him, that, that's it, me. Yeah. It, yeah. I'm For sure. Me. Damn, dog. That's funny as hell, <laughs> dog. Now, let me ask you, you know, a lot of times, you know, people change for the better when they go to mm-hmm. prison, dog. And we just got finished talking about off camera about how, you know, how we thought Biggie would be without Diddy. Mm-hmm. But how would how would you have been without doing that time, dog? You feel like, you know what I'm saying, that you need that time? Of course, you don't want to do it, but you feel like that slowed you down? Yeah, definitely, or? bro. The respect level was so different, man. I, um, like, shit happened to me. Like, if I'm talking to a CEO or somebody else, I'm not going to interrupt a conversation. I'm just going to stand there until you're done. Mm-hmm. I was talking to somebody the other day. I'm, I'm still introducing the last. Mm-hmm. And somebody just walked up to the dude like, hey, yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> just, 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 you know what I mean? Because I'm still used to mm-hmm. prison rules. Like, you know For what I mean? Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, but that, that just, just made me like, a better person you feel me definitely now, now you so you must have been there for you know a little little bit of time then for you to sit here and say you still and you know i mean if i'm wrong i'm stupid what i'm talking but it's not like you had to be in there for a little bit just to still go by those rules oh yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah yeah so you came home like what you looking like damn this shit like it, i gotta get used to this shit like oh, no, no i adapt so fast because i mean i'm always on the phone i had the phone in the in the, in the cell like mm-hmm. you know i had one of them you know so yeah. i was always i was always hip yeah. I was hip because I wanted to know what was going on because sure. you know, I'm always build, building my plan to, to come home and yeah, yeah, do yeah, me, yeah. you feel man, me? Yeah, but shout out to you being free, man. Shit, because I, like, shit, my, my cousin, he was hit me up about that shit, bro. I'm like, I just know I'm not built for no shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'll be that bitch, nigga. You talking about your first night, you build, <laughs> you like, oh, I'm going to get through this shit, man. My first night, I'll be that bitch balling, mm-hmm. nigga. Like, Let's make your bed and I done had crazy sellies. I done had old, old ass men shitting on themselves and you like, still, man, this what you want me to do? Uh, yeah, for <laughs> you sure. know what I mean? Damn, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But shit, like I said, if you go in that bitch, just make sure you come out with a plan. If, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Just, don't come in like you went in. You yeah. Feel me? You definitely can't do that. You know? No, for sure. Hell yeah, for sure, dog. But, uh, dog, we ain't talking about albums. Give me an album, bro, if I wanted to know who you were without you introducing when you Introduce me. Introduce yourself to the world without saying anything. But this album or this song is going to talk about who you are, dog. What, what would it be? Damn. Niggas, all right, okay, bet this this is the black chopper. Then you want you want to know who I am? Press play, man. Fuck it. Press play. Let me see. It's uh, a bunch of them. Um, 
Shit, you can put that. It's, it was written in that Nas album. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm glad you said because a lot of niggas think that, Ill uh, Mad was his best one. It was written was his best yeah, album. That flesh in my flesh. Yeah. You know what I mean? That mm -hmm. um, blood, sweat, and tears. That blade. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Just uh, the real me. That street door one. For sure. Hell yeah. Um, hey, shout out to one. Hey man, I'm still waiting, man. I need you on the show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. That motherfucking um, how come and we don't even talk no more? And oh, that uh D twelve. No, oh, yeah. I mean not that uh, the Marshall Mathers LP. Okay, okay, yeah, that was the best album too. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, that's dope. What album changed your life though, bro? Like, for me, I'll say uh, four hundred degrees. The reason why oh, yeah. that made me go ahead and go back and listen to all the rap that I was missing out on. Uh, album changed my uh, life was uh, in a major way. Okay. E40. Yeah, yeah. And not uh, the um top of the world. Okay. Oh, okay. MJG. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, mm -hmm. that made you look at rap all type of different. <laughs> Man. Huh? Yeah. Man, dog. Look, I used to battle motherfuckers at school yeah. with Spice One raps. Yeah. Right? And, uh, <laughs> Brother Lynch Hung. I find rappers that nobody never heard of. For sure. And I learn they shit and then I go to school and like, battle damn, everybody. Hard. And, and, and kill them. But the, then I start saying, damn, I'm delivering this shit so cold. Let me yeah. start putting my For own sure. shit in there. That's yeah. how I learned how to rap. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hell no. That's how I was kind of a little bit, though. I, when I was trying to do my music, dog, I was like taking my cousin, man. Shout out to my dog, Peachy Green and shit. Yeah. That nigga was rapping shit. So I'm like, all right, bet I'm gonna take the first couple bars and then yeah, add my shit to it. Off. You know what I'm saying? So like, shout out to him and uh, my nigga Moot, dog. Niggas are some rapping ass niggas, dog. Mm -hmm. Before I even knew about Detroit rappers, it was them for me. Like these yeah. niggas hard. Like I didn't know about nobody for real, for real the, on some Detroit shit, dog. But shit, talk about you growing up, man. Like, like where you from? East West? Like probably from the West? Nah, nah, East Side. Okay, bet. Hell yeah. Shit, nah, we don't never get East Side niggas in here. Yeah, for sure. Wait, where, where at though? Shit, I'm from. I'm a '76. Okay. Right, so I'm from Seven Mile and Hayes. I grew up over there. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But my uncle lived on Six Mile and Rogue. Okay. So I used to be at Zorba's, all that shit. Yeah, so for I, sure. I really Six Mile. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. with the street shit. But sure. I was on Seven Mile. I'm from Seven. Then we, I was on Seven Mile and Dresden too mm -hmm. by Osmore. You know? Oh, yeah. Hell Proof yeah. used to come in the basement and fuck with us all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy, you know? Yeah, not shit. Who in the household you kind of touched on, like, stepdad being there, like, you wasn't getting J's, you was getting motherfucking uh, Hakeem's and shit, dog. Like, <laughs> Shaq's. Hell yeah. The Shaq fools. For sure. So, like, um, who was in the crib, man? Siblings? Like, who was in the crib with y'all? Man, I got a sister and I got two younger brothers, you know? Mm -hmm. But I was already uh, out of town getting money when my uh, my younger brothers uh, started when they grew up. You know okay. what I mean? But uh, mm -hmm. me and my sister, we 18 months apart. Okay, okay. So, yeah, y'all side by side. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, when Pops left, was like, did that kind of, like, fuck you up, though? Like, Pops ain't with moms no more, or like you still had that relationship with him and shit. Man, my pops was uh the coolest motherfucker ever. He he, he passed. Okay, but rest in peace. He the best I ever did. He got away with it. You know, that's yeah, where yeah. I got everything from. Mm -hmm. Was him like for sure. He ain't got, he ain't got a dollar in his pocket. Yeah. He's the coolest motherfucker walking down Warren like exactly. <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I was walking down the street with him one day, and this girl was walking. He said, "My name's Squirrel." Yeah, and I'm like, I went home and say. Mama, the daddy just told that girl his name Squirrel. And she like, what, what, what the hell? What you trying to get a nut, nigga? Hit him upside the head. I'm like, damn, I, <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. Fuck pops up and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Do you, do you think life would have been a little different if moms and pops stayed together? Or you think yeah, you would... pops was called. Yeah. My pops was working that crash and everything. That, that bottle fucked him up. Yeah, okay, and okay. He just went on his own mission, you know? But for sure. he like me. He, don't, he, he go do him regardless of how you look at him and how anybody else look at him. For sure. Like nobody gonna try to tell me how to do what I do. Yeah, hell yeah. Was, was stepdad was that somebody you was cool with though? Stepdad called. Yeah. yeah. So he wasn't nobody yeah. coming in. It's like you know how some young niggas be with stepdad coming in like nigga fuck you like you know what I'm saying? No, he, I mean he came in and put his foot down. I'm 15 years old. Yeah. I wasn't running the house. He, you know, so mm -hmm. he did what he wanted to do, and I did what I had to do. For know? sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Cause like you be needing like a lot. You be needing those even if it's stepdads like nigga. You be no, needing I those. I fuck with him. He, yeah, he, he definitely. You know. But then I didn't because I didn't know no better. For sure. You hell know, yeah. I didn't want Took the, your time to learn. I didn't want this. You know, For sure. The discipline. You know, I wanted to yeah. do what the fuck I wanted to do. You, yeah. you going to discipline me and give me some motherfucking cheap shoes? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what going on around here, yeah. dog? What about high school? Like, what high school you went to? Like, did you, what, you want niggas had hoop dreams or like? Oh, yeah, definitely had the hoop dreams. Yeah. yeah. What, what high school you went to? Uh, Started off at Denby. Okay. Then I went to, kicked out of Denby. Got called a uh, handgun, knife grade. Damn. They did a uh, they did a uh, weapon search. Okay. 
I dropped that one. Pop, pop. Yeah. Yeah. Send me the Murray. They sent me the Crick Murray Wright. Okay. I'm an East Side nigga at Murray Wright. Freshest nigga in the school. Yeah. <laughs> Running to the bus. Yeah. <laughs> they, right. they on my ass every night. Because all the girls liked me. Yeah. Then I went from Murray Wright to Kettering. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then I, that's when I had the pistol. And okay. The dude, and I'm like, man, the dude said, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, shit, probably from Hooper. Yeah. He like, no, nah, nigga, it ain't on good terms. <laughs> I'm sagging. I'm sagging with the uh, coochie shit on and the gun that fell all the way down to my shoe. Duh. I'm like, <laughs> Duh. I'm like, man. Then I got, I left there and went to Osmore. Okay. I kicked out of Osmore. Then Damn. I went to Persian. Yeah. Tried out for the hoop team in 11th grade. For sure. And I, I was in the, uh, Willie Mitchell was in my 8th grade. Right? Okay, okay. So he knew I was left-handed. This is how I knew my hoop dreams was over. Yeah. Right? So I get the ball and shit and I'm like, I'm going to kill these niggas. And I went, I went left. Yeah. No, I went right. And he, Willie yelled, he left-handed. And everybody went to my left. No. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I'm, <laughs> how I'm going to shoot the Got ball. Got handicapped. I, I used to trick him because trip I go left and then yeah. come back with the, I go right and come back with the left. You know? No, yeah. And he just put me out and said, man, that's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was over. That mm -hmm. was over. Duh. Duh, that shit funny. <laughs> did, uh, did, so did you, did you graduate or you, you, you bounced around from school to school? Did you graduate? You was like, man, fuck this shit. I'm tired of getting kicked out. Like, uh, I just used to be in gym and lunch. Yeah. I, my credits was, <laughs> I ain't had no credits. <laughs> look, look, I do the whole uh, summer hooping and everything. Then, as soon as the game come, they'd be like, yeah, you know, it's two people on the bus uneligible. <laughs> Me and my man sitting there, like, yeah, we, we about to play. And then the coaches say, right there, y'all, <laughs> don't even suit up. <laughs> you and, <laughs> we like, damn, bro. All right, Duh, so. I think it's say like gym and lunch every hour. Man, nigga. that's it. Duh, that's funny. You got to realize, Osborne, proof in the lunchroom. Yeah. Isha, I'm in the lunchroom. Yeah. It's a party and that thing, you know what I'm saying? We had all the, all the girls. Like, yeah. I wish I would go sit in some class. For sure, man. Shit, man, talk about that then. You Back back then, you you, you growing up with, the, with them with them type of rappers, like, Talk about Detroit music back then, man, compared to now. Like, what, what was going on back then? Who was on the scene, man? You said you mentioned Proof, Eshawn. Um, Who niggas you was looking at? Proof proof, proof was nice, but more of a lyricist. Mm -hmm. Eshawn had a blueprint that was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, it still ain't been duplicated to this day. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, like, the way what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Man, the man had bumper stickers. The first show I opened up for was uh, Eshawn. Okay. I used to be in a group with uh, Screw Lord Wine. Okay. So it was me, uh, Filthy Rockwell. Who do the beats mm -hmm. and uh my, my homeboy Ruben and mm -hmm. uh the first show we did was uh each time opened up at the Ritz for the ICP okay you know what I mean and uh it was unbelievable that nigga had, had white people with they net with his name tattooed on yeah, shit, yeah. shit I ain't never seen before yeah damn. you know like and then I was on um I had uh tour the slaughterhouse was on uh tour okay. that's when I was staying in Minnesota okay and um Rachel's on tour with Tech Nine and them, you mm -hmm. know. So yeah. I call Juan. I'm like, uh, "What's what's what's Royce's number? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean?" Yeah. So he shoot me Royce's number, and I'm checking the voicemail. I call him, but he keeps saying Nickel Nine yeah. on his voice. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, Damn, this nigga ain't answering. Yeah. So finally, I seen mm -hmm. at the end of the night, he called me back from another number. Okay. And I'm like, um, he on there with Joe Buttons, Joel Ortiz, mm -hmm. and Tech Nine, you know. So I knock on the door. Yeah. Liquor stores closed on Sunday down there. Yeah, for sure. I got a great who's about to size a little by while, so I go by the bus. <laughs> for sure. I, I, they like, nigga, hell yeah. yeah. So Royce geeked. I got to get Cardi's on and shit. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you know, Royce popping this shit, you know, because we on the bus, you know. Mm. So Tech Nine, these girls come on the bus. So Tech Nine say, um, this is what made me want to keep rapping. Yeah. These girls come on the bus and shit. Some white girls. So Tech Nine, like, do I know you? She's like, yeah, I'm Ashley from Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, do we fuck? Yeah. She was like, no. I said, are you fucking now? She said, no. He said, get off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> they put her off the bus. I'm like, these motherfuckers. Duh. Man, they had the foreman grill in that bitch. Man. Man, duh. Uh, Damn. Was live. So when you, you know, you, you when, who was like the street rappers back then, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, we got a lot of, we got a lot of street rappers, but I feel like back then it was more lyrical rap. Lyrical yeah, back rappers. then it wouldn't really, you know, it, like, we follow Eshawn Patterson. Okay. Wasn't nobody really doing the street rapping. Everybody was hip hop. Yeah. But you got to realize Method Man, mm -hmm. we was following New York Blueprint. For sure. You know For what sure. I mean? And wasn't nobody really talking that street shit to. Uh... Shit was Blade? No, he was kind of like on some flashy shit when he was talking. The first street rapper. Uh... Yeah, because I'm like, you know, back then you had them, you had like. Had to be, had to be. Well, you know, you had City G and the Mercenary Killers. You had. uh. Trying to think what year we flipped the script. 
Mm-hmm. And stop that uh, crazy rap shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But that's what the real one, the Flint niggas doing the same yeah. shit we was doing back then. Yeah, now, hell yeah. you know. But uh, damn, the first street rapping nigga that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I was, I wondered, dog, because like, no, shit. I know I was there. I've yeah. been every, every I, 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 I've been blessed to see every episode of hip hop. Okay, know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, who, who who would you say like who was that rapper back then who you felt like you know outside of yourself that should have got more love than what they, you know, saying they received. Because I always say Big Hurt. Like I feel like Big Hurt could have been like should have been that one. I had a song with Big Hurt. Um, Big Hurt was something. I'm still waiting too. Hurt was nice. <laughs> Hurt, 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 Hurt definitely was nice. Yeah. Somebody who didn't. Like I say, Hurt. I say K D Z when he came out with Stuck in My Ways. K D Z. Uh, I'm gonna go with Rod Day, bro. Okay. He was a monster. Like the Rock Bottom Boys, they were so. Oh, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. That's they, the they, first Detroit. I mean, they, they 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 received it, but I'm just talking about as far as like on a solo level or something. Like yeah. like right now, for sure. Yeah. You know, people look at Blade like oh, but them niggas was like lyrical guys, like man. on music, like syllables, yeah. shit like that. You know, man. I'm telling you, that's called. I, I, I was uh going to Southeastern, man. I'm like, who the fuck is he all listening to? It was that man. Wait till Jay Nutty get out. I'm like, mm-hmm. the fuck is this? Like, this shit hard. Like, went to the motherfucking bootleg store and got the little uh, and got they shit. Then got uh, what's the name? That KDZ is stuck in my ways. So I'm listening. I'm seeing him and Wine on the flow with that yeah. count my dope Ooh, money. Like, nigga, shit. on the box and shit, dog. That um, kid did KDZ album. Them beats was. Unbelievable though. No, no. That's the first time we heard some real Bro. industry shit. Like AK was nice. I ain't taking yeah. up for him or R Force, none of them. They was nice, but that bang like Man. <laughs> that's what Duh. And, and like I say like hell of a shout out hell of a but Kid was that first like mm-hmm. before Hell of a like, he was that nigga, dog. He was the first hell of a yeah, he yeah, was Hullivan that nigga. Just, Hullivan stuck with it. I don't know what happened with uh as far as kids dropping, but kids was probably too industry. Hell, mm-hmm. Hullivan just stuck, he kept a Detroit. Around. He stuck that yeah. He, kept, he, he, yeah. he stuck it out and got that one with T. Yep. And, and you then, know what I mean? Shit, nah, niggas. You know, so back then, as soon as my get a few dollars, they in Atlanta. For they sure. They gone out of Detroit. They, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Hullivan, Hullivan stuck it out, bro. And he he reaping the benefits right now. For sure. Hell yeah. Everybody rapping on Detroit beats, nigga, rapping yeah. like us, all that mm-hmm. shit, bro. Damn. So uh, last thing I'm going to ask, like, do you think the reason why a lot of niggas from back there was back then was against sound because they were scared of Detroit, or is once we had got our own sound? Because you can kind of say like the Doughboys kind of started the Detroit sound a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that. All right, put me up. Eastside Cheddar Boys, Street Lords, mm-hmm. uh, Lodge Boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's where the sound originally came from. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they just, they just came in. Yeah, put a little remix on it. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? But the, the reason was uh, it's good to see like Vezel and them doing what we did, mm-hmm. but making money off of it. For sure. You know, we was taking penitentiary chances to look like yeah, they look. Not for sure. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Because, rap, because you couldn't rap about that shit if the motherfucker didn't believe you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you <laughs> have some you money. You had to do that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean? for sure. Hell yeah. You know, like I shot my, my first video, my man said, man, you the only nigga I shot a video for that got the shit he rapping about. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. And I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to even put nothing out. Yeah. Like, I got sure. a nephew right now who called. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I said, we're well, going to shoot a video. He said, well, I ain't going to shoot no video. Go to the studio until I get my chain. Yeah. I said, that don't make sense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you think Lil Wayne waited to get a chain oh, for sure, to go like, to the studio? Yeah. Hell no. Man. You know, you go rap. You go, you, what you, the more shit you drop, you, yeah. it's, it's going to come. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dog. Damn, I miss rapping, man. I used to love that mm-hmm. shit, man. Rest in peace my rap career and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Man, I was just seeing someone with, with, with Gilly and Wallo. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they was talking about uh, Gilly talking about if you 40 something. Don't rap because yeah. he said people be in his DM to my. Is it right? Is it right time to take off? Not good. For sure. For you sure. You got the platform. Yeah. <coughs> he like I wish I would. Yeah. Right. It's easy for him to say because he just signed the biggest deal. For sure, it's a podcast. <laughs> they watch yeah. But any other nigga still shooting darts at the motherfucking thing. Like, nigga, sure. I'm one single away. Yeah, hell yeah. Get the fuck about so it. Do, do, do you ever get discouraged? Like, man, I'm, I'm a little older, but you know what I'm saying? About the music, or you just no, like, I fuck quit it. rap. I ain't rap, or rap in two years. Yeah, and yeah. See, I just, dropped a, I just dropped a single with me and Big Keith. Yeah. I just did, dropped, I got another single that I'm finished rock with me and Tay B. And yeah. then I got another single with uh, me and Lil Graham. I'm just going to single on the death. For sure. Hell you yeah. You know what I mean? So is this something that you taking serious or like, I mean, you, like I said, my movie is the, my serious shit. For That's sure. where my bag go come from. Yeah. But my rap is my hobby, and 
what Gilly was saying, if you 40 and ain't got shit going on, yeah. don't start no rap shit. For sure. I got something going on. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, I got yeah. all my songs in the music. For in sure. The in the movie, yeah. I'll stop the movie and play one of my verses. Hell yeah, hell yeah. For <laughs> because sure. I wrote the motherfucker. Hell yeah, hell yeah. do a strip club scene just so I can get this verse off. And, yeah, yes. You know what I mean? No, for shit. sure, for sure, man. Now, uh, before uh, we get to movie shit, you had your clothing line, man, Top Notch. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? That's something that you... Who you been talking to, man? Hey, man, you know, I do, I do. <laughs> I did a little research, man. Hold oh, no, on, <laughs> Well, I'm gonna come back to my homie uh, Scott again, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tell you how how how, uh, how cold the devil is and how good God is, right? Okay. So uh, I get out the joint. Yeah. My nigga got the top notch clothes on. It's going crazy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? At this time, he only had one store. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I call him like, man, I'm down here in Wisconsin. Ain't no clothing stores up here. For sure. Boom. I go. He tell me what to do. I go lease me a, a spot. Mm -hmm. He sent me twenty thousand worth of clothes. I opened my shit up. My store called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been out of jail a week. Yeah, for sure. You know yeah, I mean? you already so making my moves. So say, so where are you going to work? Dude. You know, <laughs> I'm like work. Bitch, I got my own little clothing store. Yeah. She said you can't just open up clothes store without my permission. Yeah. I'm like, why the fuck you act like I oh, got a dispensary? Yeah, for something. sure. Yeah, it's I'm clothes. clothes. Yeah. She said, what's the landlord number? I said, I know about her. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> yeah, she said, well, I'm gonna give me twenty four hours to give it to me. I call the landlord. Look, man, I'm on paper. Block yeah. display. Ooh, for sure. For sure. Beat the motherfucker up. Whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he said. Oh, yeah, no big deal. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Man, they called me the next day and say, yeah, I'm just going to have to get your money back. Yeah. And they Damn. closed my clothes store down. I wound up losing all the clothes. Damn. She locked me back up for some bullshit and it was oh, over with. That's some bullshit, yeah. You, you feel what I'm saying? It did double, but I said uh, how good God is, but he didn't let that stop me. For sure. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? He didn't let that Hell stop yeah. me. Uh, I wrote two books. I wrote a book called Finally Famous. I wrote another book called... Uh, Born in, I sworn in. Okay. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I was I was working off that. Okay. I started, uh, oh, you, okay. Go ahead, though. Oh, no, go ahead. No, that was it. Okay. Because, <laughs> hey, you know, I was talking to Duff, so yeah. I'm going to no, so answer the question. No, for sure. No, we can talk. Yeah, we can talk, man. <laughs> so with Top Notch, is that something you want to bring back? You want to bring, or you want to no, do? No, my man still got it going. He got about three, four stores now. We can open another store in Houston right now. Okay. Do you ever think about over your own little line? Yeah, I got, uh, you know, I dabbled all that shit, bro. I got I got a clothing line myself called Street Code Apparel, mm -hmm. and I'm still one of the partners with Top Notch. I helped push that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, for sure, man. If y'all want to go ahead and send some merch, man. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? I rock on the oh, show, no, man. We, 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 we get you feel me? Man. I wear large and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, uh, with the movie, man, Consignment, man. You, you, uh, that's how I first got hip to you, bro. I think Detroit Diamond, who was on the show and shit, had a. Uh, it was something I saw with y'all two together. Yeah. I don't know. If she just did a show or something or whatnot. But that's how I had got hip to you. And then I seen that you had a couple of people on the, on my show who's in the movie and shit. How did the movie uh come about? And you know, what I'm saying without giving too much away, what is it about? Um, I just dropped the trailer today. For sure, trailer yeah. called it the motherfucker. For yeah, real. yeah. Uh, the trailer better than the movie. Yeah, we look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, well, I really could just put the trailer out in the theater and say fuck it. Hell yeah. No, I started shooting my um first movie in 2014. Okay, it's called uh, Highway Legends. That's when I first got out the joint. Yeah, and uh, me and my my partner Scan who got the top notch shit. It, um, we had payroll in it. Mm -hmm. We had um. Cold script. Yeah. You know, we started shooting my man Don Digital, uh three one three was shooting it. Okay. And um got halfway through it, bro, and they sent me back. Damn. And I never finished that motherfucker. Damn. And went nothing out but uh two eleven at that point. For sure. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I was blessed when I was in the feds. My celly was this old white dude named Corey. Corey okay. Johnson. He wasn't old, but you know, he yeah. Older than me. For you sure. know what I mean? And he had uh he was a millionaire. Okay. And he had wrote a, he had paid for a script called uh Rap Bastard. Okay. With Whitey Barger. Whitey Barger was on the run for ten years. Okay. He was like, uh so what's your name was about him? Uh The Departed. Okay. Yeah, oh. so uh yeah, with the, yeah. But he wrote uh but he had wrote his old movie from uh John Shea was his bodyguard. Okay. So my guy knew John Shea. He wrote his book from uh, from his movie from his perspective. Prospect. So what he did, he paid fifteen thousand dollars for it to get edited mm -hmm. in the movie script. Mm -hmm. So I said, "How your wife sent me the script?" Yeah, she sent it to me, and I seen how they did it in Hollywood. Okay. So I met, I mastered that format. Yeah. And that's how I learned how to write. Okay. Movie script. Basically. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, Simon, yeah. what what was it about? Without you know, saying go deep diving, uh, and giving too much away before the premiere, which is airing uh June tenth. Yeah. The premiere and shit. Yeah. So, I, um. I uh. It's about me getting out of the joint mm -hmm. and um, trying to uh, basically, I'm dating this female and she's uh, 
she wanted to owe me. Okay. The nigga that had the bag. For sure, me? yeah, yeah. You trying to security. switch it up. I'm trying to switch it up and do what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And she, um... I always and then me. I met the plug when I was in there. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So I'm like, before I be fucked up in Detroit, I'm gonna go fuck with this plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what it's about. Then this uh, cricket cop wind up getting on my heels. And, yeah. It's always you know. one man mess you up, man. Yep. I always want that yep. old you and shit. <laughs> Don't want to see you change up yep. and shit, dog. Damn, that should be fucked up, bro. So, uh... How you go about casting, bro? I know you say you, you know, what I'm saying you got some people come in, and be like, I do it for the love. Like, how you go about casting and shit like that? Um, what I wanted to do, I, it, was, it was certain people that I always wanted to work with. Okay, like I'm a big fan of Nisha Nishay. Yeah, that's yeah. my dog. Yeah, that's me like too, my man. sister, bro. Right. So um, check them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of Nisha, so I had to have her. For sure, you know what I mean. Uh, Detroit Diamond, I studied her for like for probably a week or so like yeah. her social media I like the, I like the, her personality and how passionate she was about what she did so I wanted to bring her she in she definitely passionate boy yeah <laughs> like she, she on her shit you know yeah. what I mean so I, I'm like damn I can bring her in and um I started shooting this film with uh Great Lake Films my man G mm -hmm. and Bo and um like I told you I'm a difficult person to work with <laughs> yeah. you feel me so For we sure. wind up uh we didn't fall out but we just part of our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was stuck with half of him. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, you know, shout out to them. Mm -hmm. They did do their thing. And I was doing a documentary called uh, The Real Detroit Documentary. Okay. And I ran into G at the club and he was, he he shot, he had a couple movies out right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, I hollered at him and he was like, come to my premiere. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I was already doing a movie. Yeah. Fuck the doc. I scrapped the documentary. Yeah, for sure. And went straight to writing the yeah. assignment shit, you know? yeah. But far as casting, um, uh, if you want to act and be in my film, I didn't, I didn't cast nobody. Damn, I, just let, I missed, I missed was, my opportunity, dog. Whoever, everybody said that now. I have cousins that's with me every day, <laughs> just sitting there watching me do the movie. And now they tell me, man, I should have did more role. I should have did another scene. Man, like, I just want to be third number two, though. That's all. No, shoot, I got you, bro. Yeah, shoot me and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got the shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> I get shot. I could be doing podcasts. They come in the bitch and take a rob and shit. But this being my first film. A lot of people ain't know it was gonna be that. For sure. You you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. motherfucker don't believe me. Like I see Agro did an interview. Shout out to Agro, that's my nigga. For sure. Uh he's uh he said, um Your girl don't believe until you your girl ain't believing into what you got going on or motherfuckers yeah. until you get a check off of it. For sure. Fast. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So nigga, you keep wanting to do that weak ass movie with fuckers roll exactly. with you. Exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's how my wife my wife was saying like this whole ass podcast, but she like Oh, he for real about this shit. No, as I was going every fucking weekend, like, oh, you serious, nigga? Like, yeah, cause we what you do. we talked about that shit. Cause she didn't think I was gonna be that that serious about this shit. She thought I was probably gonna do a couple, of, you know, episodes mm -hmm. and then be like, whatever. So like, oh, no. on one fifty nine. Yeah, right yeah. you gonna you gonna know a couple of years, like, nigga. You, you know got, what I'm saying? You got black chopper on your shit, so you you won anyway. Hell yeah, you already know, dog. <laughs> I see, you know, we blessing this motherfucker, dog. But uh, with with the with the with the movie, was it like hard like to finish it, bro? Cause like, was it hard to put this shit together and finish this shit? Well. I had, see what I do, uh, I pay attention to body language. Okay. So I had already cast it. My, my, I knew everybody I wanted mm -hmm. based off the body language. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, home, my brother got a homeboy named Bones and mm -hmm. Big Baby. They, these are the two silliest people in the world that you ever yeah. want to see. For sure. So I had already knew when I write it, mm -hmm. I'm going to put Bones right here. They don't even know it. I mm -hmm. just sent in the script. He was geek. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. And Big Baby did my brother crack. They, he's silly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I had them three. I got Detroit Diamond. She don't know she in the film yet. But I'm sure. already writing. Yeah, you're right. Then I yeah. got, got Nisha. So Nisha kind of the hardest one. Mm -hmm. The, the, the cash because yeah. she got too much going. Like, For sure, she yeah. already in the mix. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Like, who's this nigga did? Be like, Ooh. you know? Hell yeah. But, yeah, so that's how that wind up working. Then court came, came through. For sure. You know what court, yeah, yeah. Such and such. And, woo. and before you know it, yeah, you got some shit I'm going like, on. Shit, damn, let me get China right quick. Well, let me see, check Diesel with this. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I got yeah. a classic. I got a classic. I got the best movie of the year. Oh, for sure. On Hell the street yeah. side. He ain't said that shit, y'all. Yeah. Best movie of the year on the best podcast and shit, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? He already said it. See, so and, he, that's, and that's my opinion. If yeah. you don't believe it. For sure. Now, it, it's, it's coming out. <laughs> 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 now, it's coming out uh, June, June 10th. 10th. That's the premiere. June 10th is the premiere at the MGA, uh, MGR, MJR Theaters, yeah. uh, 12 Mile of the Quinder. When is it going to be available for everybody to see? And where uh, is it going to be? Is it going to be Tubi? It's going to be on Tubi. It's going to be on Tubi, uh, okay. hopefully July. July, okay. early August. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Now, you know, nowadays with music and with movies, we on to, shit, what's next? 
So oh, once yeah. this shit, once this shit drop, what's next? Are you still gonna be writing movies? Or are you gonna be done with it? Like, oh no, no, I'm already got a, uh, I got something in the vault right now. Yeah, cooking. You know what I mean? For sure. For hell yeah. yeah I'm, I'm gonna get it popping like pork chops dropped in hot grease. <laughs> hell yeah. You shit. know what I mean? <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Not, yeah. And I, um, who do you look at as far as like? Give me your top three Detroit uh actors that you might want to work with or actresses. Detroit actors. Yeah. Uh, top three. Mm-hmm. You know everybody gotta go with murder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 murder, yeah. Did, murder did this thing. That nigga doing uh, thing. I just met murder recently at the um, at the Dirty Deep premiere. Yeah, and, um, chopped it up with him. Yeah, so I'm looking to work with him. Um, and then I just chopped it up with Sino too about doing some work. For and sure. My, my homeboy, my brother used to tell me, "Rest in peace, my brother." I got two uh, two brothers that passed mm-hmm. in this movie. For sure, that's yeah. in my movie that, that passed. Like uh, one died from a heart attack. Damn. Both of them died like on like some unexpected shit. Yeah, like, damn. Was I fucked up. Yeah. But they did make the movie and shit like that. So. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace to Ariano. Rest in peace my, my brother Wes. For sure. But uh, he used to always tell me, man, you a bootleg scene though. <laughs> <laughs> because of the dress and Dress and so, so good. We had, I'm at the MGM the other day and my girl called me like, she sees Cino. She FaceTimed me like, don't you know, you know my boyfriend, you know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, Cino like, ooh. I come down there like, yeah, nigga, you stole my style, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, nigga. <laughs> I get the jacket on, and he like, oh, he laughing, you know. Yeah. Up. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna need you for some shit. So for sure, for he sure, like, you got work, you know. So yeah, murder Cino. Who'll be your third? My third would be um. I like China. She ain't my movie. Okay. She's silly. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? She cold, but she do her thing. For sure. Yo. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now you say. You, you oh, bo- yeah. My, my uh, other brother, though, uh, Denzel. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Nigga, Shout out yeah. to him. Would you put this up there with those Detroit great movies, man? Because we ain't had some shit, man. Some buffed ups. We ain't had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had some <laughs> shit, dog. 5 0. Like. Yeah. You trying to. Because every at the end of the day, this is all competition, dog. That's why I mm-hmm. say, nigga. I know it's a lot of podcasts. And I'm always believing myself. But we just like with music, with this movie shit. You putting your shit up against, you know what I'm saying, other niggas and it's like, nigga, I'm the, I'm that nigga when it comes to these movies? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, the cold thing about me is, uh, the thing is, I let people do them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It take longer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers get pissed off, but we're going to get the best work out of you. For sure. You know what I mean? And yeah. then I, uh, what I do is I set the mood. Mm-hmm. I don't got no script and all this shit. You know, yeah. I got a script in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you want it to be? It, We'll fuck it up when people try to act. Yeah, for sure. No! <laughs> all that. You be like, come on, man. Hell yeah, for sure. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. I break down the scene, bro. Dude just stole 20000 out your motherfucking safe. When he for walk sure. in, what you gonna say to him? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, yeah. bro, he just stole 20000 out your safe. Nigga, yeah, you, for sure, what, yeah. What he gonna look say? mad, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, so... That's how we. That's how we pretty much do it. For sure, you know. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shit, we about we 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 was up. We're dropping a a little shit, dog. Serious? (laughs) We just some bullshit, dog. What was that shit called, dog? You about to get married? Yeah, that shit, dog. (laughs) Then we had some shit, dog. You about to, dog? You lost you lost your hair or some shit, dog? It was just it was just a play on on the on on the word dog and shit, Mm -hmm. dog. Shit was funny as hell, man. Dog, you got creative. yeah, dog, you got knocked out by your step, your step, your your son and stepdad. Yeah, it's creative though. That's cool. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, but shit, if you had to redo a movie, dog, what would it be, and what would you add to it or take away? Well, I haven't thought about that yet, but I got yeah. a, I got a homeboy named Barry, right? He used yeah. to work with me, and he he wanted to redo a movie called uh, Juices, right? Mm-hmm. But he wanted to do. Uh, juice with all females. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be hard. You know? hell, yeah. But he wanted to do Detroit juice. Yeah. So we was gonna use Rocky Bad, uh, all the girls. Damn. And then just had them nothing up, like, but the, you know, Damn. like, that's, yeah, that'd be hard. And hey, yeah. don't steal my, I gotta patent that shit now. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, I don't know, we might cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> <We might cut laughs> that's too out. hard, man. Yeah. That's what he said, though. Yeah. Well, no, that's, that'd that... be cold, though. No, for sure. We do juice on the female side, of Detroit edition? Hell yeah. Now, dog, okay. we 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 on the podcast. You on the best podcast in the city, but you had a podcast, dog, dropping jewels. Damn, <laughs> what happened to that shit, bro? Like, you know what I'm uh, saying? I'm gonna tell you one thing about me, man. I'm in everything but a casket. So, <laughs> so when I say I ain't dead yet, so you know, <laughs> for sure. They say all press is good press, except your obituary, and I ain't dead. Hell so, yeah, uh, hell yeah. This is something I, I I put it out there. You feel me? Yeah. I had my my first podcast was in uh. 2014, mm-hmm. I, I I interviewed uh Doughboy's Cash Out in the Halfway House. Okay. On the phone, under the yeah. bed, like, Duh. lights out type shit. Yeah. yeah, look it up. 20 right, it's on YouTube. Fresh out the feds. Duh. Duh. But no, so what, what happened with dropping jewels? 
Oh, uh, shit, I just never, I, I ain't do nothing else. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, is yeah. this something you thinking about doing? Like, you want to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down to do everything, you know, but like I said, I'm trying to, I be trying to put other motherfuckers in position, too. For sure. You know? Yeah, fast, fast. So, if I do the dropping jewels, I'll give it to, like, yeah. somebody that want to do it. You know You'd what I mean? You be, like, behind the scenes. And then I'll be together. behind the scenes with her, yeah. and I'll pop on there yeah. like every now and then, you know? Would you want to be, like, maybe, like, would you... Interview based or like some like Joe Budden shit when they having like everyday conversations about shit that's going on. How would you want it to be? Uh, the dropping jewels basically was about me just telling you about shit, the shit to go on in life. Yeah, and how people would do shit to happen. For sure. You know what I mean? And yeah. what to look out for type shit. For know? sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now yeah. I, I mentioned it, man. You did security, man. Yeah, yeah. Give me a crazy security story, dog. Cause I know you. What you was in the clubs? Yeah, I worked at uh, Club Echelon. I was security. Okay, okay. Yeah, for two years. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers, they know I was security because I had. I was so plugged to where uh, <laughs> I didn't. I stopped. I stopped having to wear the security suit. Yeah, for and sure. I was running around that. Yeah, <laughs> I was running around that <laughs> with bottles in my. Yeah, yeah. We was getting off. Shout out to Mike and Candace. Candace, that's like you know she the owner. That's not to my people. Yeah, you said Club real. Club Echelon. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, uh, you know about um damn my my um my wife's sister her uh, stepdad be doing shit uh he run I think a strip club named um Little. I might know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, dog, give me a, a wild crazy security story. A wild security story, dog. Right? It'd be some crazy ones in that. Crazy bitch. security story was <laughs> a girl was in there with her boyfriend, right? Yeah. The dad just got out of jail. Okay. Right. The girl dad. The girl dad. Okay. <laughs> her brothers and everybody in there. Yeah. The dad came out. The boyfriend supposedly did something to one of the kids. Okay. Right. Yeah. The dad took off on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, I put him in the full one and yeah. run him outside, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. he tell me what he did, what he did. I'm like, you know, but he like, man, I never seen my son perform. Let me back in the club. Yeah. I'm like, damn, man, I just want to let you back in. The owner like, I'm like, Mike, this what happened. Yeah, for sure. He like, bro, you didn't hit somebody in my club. You, you threw. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. he wanted to get back in and see his son perform, but based off of what the fuck happened, but that yeah. shit, was, man. shit was silly. You ever had to put somebody down? Knock somebody out real quick? Uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, shout out to my cousin Ronald, man. He uh he was doing uh he was doing security up at uh what was that shit called? Bay. It was on a base, base. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, they had moved over to um damn that shit. I used to go Onyx on yeah. the west side. Nigga, I used to be dog, used to, the hoes used to be Onyx like crazy. But mm -hmm. yeah, dog, that nigga he got shot in that motherfucker car. I guess somebody got kicked out. They came yeah. back, started shooting dog. That's a dangerous ass job, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a real deal. Yeah. You know what's crazy though? Um. Zero tolerance. That's the name of my security shit, right? Okay. So uh it's like y'all slamming niggas and shit. Yeah, yeah, we slamming motherfuckers. <laughs> Big motherfuckers, everybody, you know, on board shit. Yeah. I got my, my homie Ghost, he get two with all the girls. He, yeah. <laughs> he got two AKs on two pistols. Everybody be mad at that nigga. I'd be like, damn, ghost calm down, man. man. Then go and stand by the DJ booth. Let's we can stand at the door, man. You know, mm -hmm. I'll finesse all, all the fights. Like, hey, man, why y'all fighting? Because there's always females. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but uh, I got a security job because my brother West came to me. Okay. I'm like, man, you be doing the shows. Yeah. Because, you know, I promote it too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, you ain't lie. You stay. You be saying some shit, boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm promoting. And uh, he took me up to the holiday at the uh, people at Club Echelon to promote. Yeah. But my man Gutter, shout out uh, shout out to my, my man Gutter. He he the head of security, Zero Tolerance. Okay. Younger head of it now, but Gutter, Gutter was. So, uh, Gutter, like, um, he bring me up there and I'm hollering at Candace about doing the shows and shit mm -hmm. up there. You know, seeing how many people are old, this, that, and third. For sure. You're like, damn, you a big nigga, you do security? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never did security. Nigga, but that's the way that. I ain't gonna throw rice at a Chinese wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, shit, I'm not gonna grab no motherfuckers. But... So the next morning he called, like, yeah, be here at 10. Yeah. We're all black. Yeah. I'm like, shit, all right. Yeah. Uh, so then, you know, I get a discount on the wing things. I'm partying. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's, it's yeah. on the flow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then every now and then, I'll, I'll throw a motherfucker out. But that's how sure. I started, you know? Yeah. But then I'm being going to build the relationships. So that's I wind up sure. getting cool to. with the owners, right? So, uh, Eastside Wine, uh, what was my first show? No, Baby Money. Yeah. No, I'll tell a band, though. My my nephew don't got a homeboy named Telebando. Okay. Who uh he just signed the Empire too. He popping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um I see him every day. Yeah. So my nephew and them, they said I'm like, how y'all be around dog every day? Y'all ain't trying to put no show together, For sure, no verses. Yeah. Though you know what I mean? What yeah. would uh payroll say on that song? Then yeah. you with me every day, you might, yeah. <laughs> you get to be, better try to middle man a verse. For like, sure, you, you got to. Yeah, I'm like, so I put a show together. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh that bitch did good, but uh 
We did like on a Thursday. Okay. So it didn't really rock like it's supposed to. Yeah, like a weekend but, or some shit. Yeah, but yeah. it was good though. That was my first my, was my first chance at the promoting. I did beat mess with my homegirl, dog. She be hosting and shit. My homegirl teacher and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my yeah, dog. That's my, yeah. that's my dog, man. I grew yeah. up. Did we, we didn't grow up together, but that was my high school dog. Yeah, she's good people. She Hell yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She in the movie. For, oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, Tisha, you in the movie, girl? Hit <laughs> yeah. me up, dog. Yeah, she out there. Yeah. Damn, my girl Tisha, dog. Yeah, that's my dog, man. Like, she was my dog for real. Like, I remember I got uh, uh, me and my baby mom broke up, dog. We was cool as hell, niggas, because I was in that bitch sad as fuck, nigga. So she made a nigga like, <laughs> nigga, like yeah. nigga, don't be sad about that bitch. Like, basically, yeah. you ain't no bitch, baby mama, but you know, <laughs> you know how girls talking shit. So let me tell you no, what happened. She I hard, know. though, nigga. She, I remember, yeah, she about to throw hands for somebody for me, dog, one oh, time. Yeah, she ain't playing. She asked me, like, you want me to throw hands? Like, no, I don't throw hands, dog. <laughs> she cool as hell. She came on my funeral and shit. Shout out to her, dog. I love mm-hmm. her, dog. She my dog. Yeah, she good people. So what wound up happening was, um, I brought baby money next, right? So mm-hmm. I, I started meeting the promoters, church, Clem, Clem Time Wood, that's my dog, and church, like, they're good promoters. So, um, by this time, I got about $1,000 saved. I'm like, shit, I'm about to make a move. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So I called Los. I called Los. I called Baby Money, like, man, how much for a show? Yeah. He like shit. Uh, I've been following him since he's wanted five hundred for a verse. That's why he like. For sure, yeah. I used to perform for five hundred. Yeah, <laughs> he was hell talking yeah. about me. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So I call him. This story. and he like, um, shit. Give me three thousand. You feel me? Yeah. He want twenty thousand now. But hell yeah, you can't afford <laughs> you know that. I mean? yeah, so uh, so uh, I'm like shit. Uh, back. But I only got a G. Okay. So he like, um, you got cash out? Woo. I'm like, no, where you at? He like, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on post three, I'm on twelve. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm about to pull up. Yeah. I drive over there, take the picture. I put my little cash nigga. I put it on twelfth street. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nigga. Yeah, you already know. You know, I gave, but I said I only got a band. Yeah. Now I'm trying to find the other band. For sure. <laughs> you <laughs> you sure. feel what I'm saying? Because I'm still security at this point. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm trying to do this shit without doing no no street yeah, shit. All, yeah, for sure. So, uh, so um. My man DA doing hookah shit, you know. So I tell DA about the shit. He gave me the other thousand. So now me and him ain't never did no show. Mm-hmm. So we really can't pack the house. Yeah. So we gotta go to Clement Church for sure. The niggas who yeah, already doing to put that shit out there. Yeah. But I really don't want to do it because it's cutting to the bag. But for sure, you want all the pros. These yeah. niggas is running this shit. Just been bringing the shows that I seen slapping for sure. So we cut it in and we did that bitch. That bitch that did nice. Yeah. So then after that, um, I seen Eastside One. Okay. Wind up cutting into him. Getting Sada, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But Sada wanted fifteen bands. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Remember only had a thousand dollars. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, get that shit away. Yeah. Oh, the baby money. Yeah. We about to split twenty five hundred a piece. For sure. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm still short. So, <laughs> ah, the owners. Yeah. They put up the seventy five for me. Oh yeah. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Boom. Hell yeah. Sada come. My name good now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Then after that. I brought uh baby uh baby face Ray. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You making yeah. these good connections and shit, mm-hmm. dog. Hey, this nigga ain't never lied, boy. He so everything what, but a casket. <laughs> so that's what it's about, building relationships, man, for being sure. a good person. No, for sure. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yep. And that's my dog, man. Shout out to my dog Diddy. He was like, Man, your podcast dope, but you gotta make sure you need streets so they can see you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I be, you know, I be, I make all my connections off of IG for the most part. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's good. That's good, though. You know what I'm saying? But he like, man, you got to be in the street so niggas can see you because they going to put the face with the what they ain't seen yeah. on IG. Like, oh, nigga, you such and such. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Give you a perfect example of that uh, uh, Denzel, the actor. For sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Never met him in my life, right? Okay. But I hate him. I congratulate him all the time on what he got going on. Mm-hmm. The other day, I'm at the, I'm at the studio, right? I'm finna, I'm finna record. Mm-hmm. My Instagram ain't got the little beep on it. Okay. I check it as him. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Lisa Brown needs you for a scene. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. shit. Hell yeah. I'm telling dog. I take the headphones. I'm on. out. Yeah. I go up there and it's a movie called uh By Any Means Necessary. Okay. Yep. I was like, one of the kidnappers. Yeah. I pull up. I got the Pelio on jury and shit. Mm-hmm. They like you the kidnapper. I went to the goddamn uh, <laughs> gas station. Brought the Detroit had the, uh, <laughs> yeah. and, the and the COVID mask. For sure. He grabbed the girl, threw her in the trunk. And yeah. yeah. The shit was so funny. Dude played college football, the other the other kidnapper. Okay, right? <laughs> yeah. So this why you don't supposed to have a lot of people on your set telling yeah. people what to do, mm-hmm. right? So it's a, it's some motherfucker in the background talking about yeah when she come out the house she gonna resist you, mm-hmm. so make sure you make it look real. Yeah. The director didn't tell him this. Exactly. The girl movie it was didn't tell him this. When I tell you this man tackled this girl, <laughs> I'm talking about oh my heart. I'm talking about so hard, bro. This is so funny. I'm like Damon, you not in, you not in college so much. <laughs> exactly. That nigga, ain't got, that nigga I'm ain't went about back her to the. Her earring flew off and everything. That shit was so crazy, man. Duh, fuck it up, man. That shit was Damn. so funny. 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, y'all listen, to niggas, dog. Yeah, based off based off the relationship, like most niggas try to be tough, and I ain't gonna say nothing to that nigga. Like my girl called Cino down, like what for up, nigga? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, what's your number? Rule, let's work. You know yeah, what I mean? Hell yeah, yeah so hell yeah. That, that's nigga, what I do. That, that, Whoever I see, that tough shit ain't gonna get you fed. Yeah. Nigga, you be out here starving, nigga. Whoever I see, I'm gonna walk right up to him. Like them. Sometimes they put the face with the like, you chopo. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm following you already. So, you know, hell yeah, type shit. You know, so, hell yeah. Because like I said, as soon as I saw you. On that one shit, I'm like, oh, nigga, you already know how I do, cute nigga. I'll just go ahead and send my little link, like, bam, check me out. Mm -hmm. And I see him moving, like, I know I got I got to get this nigga on a podcast, though. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm Maybe. watching you at the same time. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. You got <laughs> oh, yeah. You got such and such right now? Yeah, I'm about to. Man, a few for, weeks. for sure, man. That's the thing, though. I always want to, of course, you want the big names, but you want the niggas on to come up, too. Yeah, for sure. You, you never know, though. Because my thing is, when you're doing a podcast, if you got all big hitters, it's going to look crazy once you get somebody else. Yeah, yeah You got to yeah. balance it. No, you balance that shit out. You feel me? You got to balance that shit. You got to work. And like, everybody got a story, too. Exactly. Motherfucker might not like what I'm talking about, but yeah. if motherfucker might see you talking about it with, with somebody else, dude. Yeah. You know? For sure. You can change, touch one life, or change some shit, man. No, for cool. sure. What's some young nigga shit versus some shit you've been through? You know what I'm saying? Like some shit that you believed as a as a young 21-year-old Chapo, and you look at that shit now like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, nigga, that shit don't um, make no sense. The clothes made. Yeah. <laughs> you feel you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't coming like my nephew say, I, mean, I ain't shooting a video until I get the, For sure. get the chain. For sure. really do this. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, got, I just got I got, just got a new uh, Chapo chain. That bitch so cold, I ain't even wear it. Yeah, you know what I mean? For sure, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. That type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Because yeah. 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 like, I always give an example. Like, nigga, as an 18 year old nigga, I'm like, nigga, I never eat no motherfucking pussy. Yeah. yeah. When you get older, you be in that bitch like, nigga. Seafood lover. <laughs> yeah. Seafood lover. That nigga got a red lobster on like, half day. Nigga. Running red lights. <laughs> Damn, baby, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> baby, hold on, dog. No, no. no. I really. Is, is you spotting or, or is it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you want to ask me that question, dog. You spotting? Like, is it, is it, like, is it heavy? Like, oh, <laughs> that bitch medium? Oh, I bet. I like my no, shit like that. <laughs> no, you that that's the no, that's a classic question, nigga. You Man. spy, nigga, because you can get through some spy, nigga. Yeah. Like you hit some spy. Like, let me see. <laughs> the code is one. Don't let me see the string. Yeah. <laughs> I put. I was like seventeen. This girl kept coming over, bro, and she just kept pump faking on me. I got blue balls every time she leaves. We kissed it for two hours. <laughs> So she's like, I'm on. I said, let me see the stream, bitch. You playing, man? At this point, at this point, it's over. No, you that motherfucker. Y'all see a heart, nigga. Like she left you, this bitch, nigga. Break up, hurt, nigga. Mm -mm. <laughs> dog, that shit funny, dog. You got you. You got anything like that you would do differently with the way you started, whatever. Like you did. You did a lot of stuff like music. I think music probably like the first thing you really like. Music, my passion, bro. I, yeah. love, I love music. So is, bro. is there anything that you would start different with the whole music shit, like how you would have came in differently? I had a group called Detroit Cartel, right? Mm -hmm. And I started in Minnesota. I'm talking about the hardest shit ever. Still mm -hmm. to this day, I can, niggas still inbox me now, I'm talking about put it out. Yeah, yeah, Put it out now. For sure. I dropped it down there and I gave uh, Street Lord Wine probably 100 CDs. Yeah. He did what he did with him and I gave, you no know, motherfuckers that I knew up here that I had connections. For sure. Because I stayed down there like 10 years, but yeah. I, I would've came home with that shit. For sure. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize, you know, I didn't, I've been back in Detroit three years. Okay. You know, I ain't live here in, yeah, so you, yeah. Oh, so you was out there that whole time? Yeah, I was out there the bus okay. moving around. You know, yeah. With globe traveling. For sure. You know I mean? <laughs> For sure, hell yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, but you see what I can do when I, most motherfuckers come home and be, yeah. be stuck, they don't yeah. know what to do. For I'm, sure, I'm hell go yeah. straight to where it's at. Uh, do, do you like what you're seeing right now with, with Detroit now, dog, compared to how it was back in the, you know what I'm saying, early, earlier days and shit? It's the same shit. Yeah. It's just that we got a spotlight now. No, facts. Same shit. Hell like, yeah. Like, Street was a legend, Blade. Malik, the best yeah. probably ever to touch a microphone. For sure, hell yeah. That's the only nigga I should be scared to get on song with. Like, Malik? I have to hear his verse. Yeah, for sure. Because sure. he had a voice. Yeah. Like, he could say anything. Like, he had a song that said, I got it, where he said the same bars, yeah. and it still was called. Duh. Bricks and cars, I got it. Bricks and bars, I got <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, for sure, hell I'm yeah. so talented the way I flip these bars, I got it. Duh. That's I'm like, he keeps saying the same <laughs> shit, but he fucking me up, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me go. Duh, you know? Shout out to my dog, Mike. Cause he used to be core with my dog Mike, dog. Okay. Uh, light skinned Mike. Mike was the first nigga to keep it Mike real. Mike Jefferson. Uh, damn, nigga. He probably, this was this was light skinned Mike. Cause yeah. It, he yeah, had, yeah, I know you talking about. He about. had spot over there when I was going. Mm -hmm. He had spot over there by uh by Murray. Mm -hmm. And then he had spot over there by Finney at his crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but he's the first nigga who made me really go home and write and make sh make make it make sense. Okay. Cause one day I, my boy my boy Reg had um we was rapping together mm. and he got locked up. So I'm like, damn, I gotta come solo. So now I gotta come with two verses instead of one. So nigga, I I, I go to Mike and uh, I'll record some shit. Mike a real nigga for this, dog. We sit on the couch and shit. He like, dog, li listen to this shit. 
and we listening like do that sound good to you i'm like damn i'm like no he's like exactly <laughs> so nigga like that don't sound good bro so i came back and i made mike change his opinion on my on my music and he said that shit was sounding good i'm yeah. like bet i did something right the coldest thing with rap what up you gotta you gotta believe yourself mm -hmm. you feel me when you say the bar yeah you know what I mean? For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I dropped out of school at 16 and got a bankroll. Yeah, for sure. I did that. Yeah. You feel me? Nah. Put me on payroll, girl. Huh? <laughs> not, not that I dropped out no, of school at sure. 16 and got a bankroll. Yeah, for no, sure. I dropped out of school at 16 and got a bankroll. Yeah. I'm elegant the way I paint this shit. Yeah, These for sure. Mako. Yeah, hell yeah. I might go blah, blah with the Draco. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. You gotta make a motherfucker believe what you're saying. No, nah, for but... sure. And I had no type of beliefs until, mm -hmm. like, I think, even though it was fucked up that my dog went to jail, but once he went to jail, I had to find my own way. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got better and shit, dog, because I couldn't, when he, we was rapping together, I had to kind of, like, make sure that I didn't know nothing about. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about nigga you was selling prodigy. drugs and shit, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? I mean, that motherfucker <laughs> looking up, nigga, how much shit costs and shit. Like, how much that motherfucker mm -hmm. ounce is. Nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Doing dumb shit like that. I used to have rappers calling me like, man, what's on Rodeo Drive? The store? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like some of my artists like for sure. their songs. So. Hell yeah, yeah, dog. But uh, I mentioned Mike because that's when I seen what's name in that motherfucker, dog Malik, and that nigga was going crazy. Yeah, Malik. That nigga was going crazy, he, dog. He, 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 wanted the, he wanted the best to ever pick the mic up in Detroit. Now, I always sure. said this, and niggas don't agree because you mentioned Street Lord Wine. Mm -hmm. I always felt like Wine and Vezel was kind of similar in their rap styles. Nah. They sound. Is it? Am I the only one? Like the way mm -hmm. they sound. Not how they uh -huh. rap, like just the sound. It kind of sounds similar to me. I don't think so, bro. You don't the think closest so? I said it, one, I was like nobody rap like one. One, no, no, at all. Was a one a perfectionist, bro. Yeah. One to sit there and work with that music, man. I used to sit there. One had a keyboard. Yeah, and he had that. Um, he would sit there and be playing. A, he had a song called Deep Skeleton. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You don't know me. Mm -hmm. I beat this up like he 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 sit there like and play with that shit. Yeah. You know, hell yeah. Dog. He the one told me to take start taking the word out my rhymes. Okay, cause I I wanted to spice one of them. Yeah, for sure. I call the big fat guy. Nah, put that. <laughs> yeah. I'll take two words. Out, and for I sure. come with the big fat guy. And I'm quick to be a soldier about it. I come with the gift. Yeah, 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 but they're going crazy. I yeah. wanted to just kill a nigga lyrically because <laughs> I can. You feel me, bro? Yeah, 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 man. But no, uh, back then I remember Seven Miles Bella out, all mm -hmm. that shit, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I, I want that motherfucking um, yeah, Michigan Mint chain. I seen, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to show you the one I just uh, passed me that phone right quick. Oh, shit. Off record, don't tell nobody, but <laughs> this is the one I just got. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, but yeah, 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 with the street lords, and especially when they got um my nigga from um Houston, uh, oh, short dog, short dog, short dog is a monster, nigga, without cussing. Yeah, not one Close single cuss word. the ground, hope the devil don't mind. Man, cuss my money longer than the telephone line. Man, shit, oh shit, that shit hard. That shit hard as hell. <laughs> Damn, cuz yeah, I didn't get this nigga payroll, nigga. <laughs> I ain't doing though, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that shit sweet, dog. That's exactly how I want. I want that motherfucking that shit, dog. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, I was actually hard, dog. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm figuring yeah. how the letters in gold, though. Yeah. They're being trimmed to stay in gold, yeah. Oh, yeah, that shit hard. But yeah, yeah. dog, yeah. when I was looking at them, that's the reason why I wanted to rap. But even though I was like, <laughs> like they count my dope money money and, and uh, what hood you from and all that yeah. shit. And then you got short dog, like. Yeah, short dog was a monster. I always wanted to ask this shit to uh, DZ, but I wanted to know, like, did he feel pressure at the Blade passed away, like, to hold that torch as far as, like, Detroit, like, this? Yeah. The whole thing about Blade was Blade like me. Yeah, Blade, Blade. I remember when it sounded like Blade was rapping on paper, reading on paper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Blade more was char char charisma. For sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? He wasn't the best rapper that no. was industry lord, you know? But, yeah, but you going to want it. Like, yeah, it was the style he was he, selling he, that he, shit yeah, to. He, he sold it to. Like I said, you got to be believable. Yeah. He believed in himself so much to where you believed him. Yeah, you love you know that. I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Hell so yeah. That's, what, that's what it was about him. I, how you, you think know? if he didn't die, how you think you, you think he would have just, what, he blew up, had a label? Like, how you think things would have been yeah, for him? Yeah, he went to the next level. He definitely went to the next level. Yeah. Hell if Juan didn't go to jail, Juan would have went to the next level, definitely. For sure. Juan was already making power moves. But shit, Juan did about what, what, 10? I think he did 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Street Lord yeah. Juan, nigga. I was yeah. that bitch, nigga. Hype as hell at 2 in the morning listening to these niggas' music, yeah. dog, the motherfucking then, videos. Uh, you know, G-Rock, you know, they was, they, they was like Fat Mike. yeah. Funniest motherfucker ever in For the sure. world. Yeah, you yeah. think Pimpy Ken? I took Fat Mike out there to meet Pimpy Ken one time. My, my, my homeboy Pete uh, brought brought Fat Mike down to Minnesota one time, bro. Mm -hmm. This nigga fast man. I just met his daughter. Okay, okay. I just met his daughter at the, uh, at uh, Scooch uh, album release party. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Hell I'm yeah. on Scooch birthday party. Uh, okay. Double Scooch. Okay. Um, 
And she came up to me like, you know who I am? Yeah. I'm like, no. She's like, I'm Fast Daughter. I'm like, get the fuck out of <laughs> here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you know you can already start seeing men. Because mm -hmm. like you said, your homeboy yes. going to prom, sitting there like, what the fuck? Nigga, she was just yeah. in fourth grade. Right. My son's 16. Like, God damn. This shit yeah. going crazy. Dog. But shit, man, we end everything off, man, with a couple of things. But I want to do a uh, top three. I give you something, you give me your top three. Mm -hmm. Give me your top three childhood celebrity crushes. Megan Good. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. You can't. You ain't, uh, you ain't lying. Megan Good. Uh, let me see. Gotta go J-Lo. Yeah. On the puff side. Hell, yeah. And then, um, you say childhood? Mm -hmm. It was bad. Uh, I was so stuck on Megan Good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, For sure. Uh, uh, the bro. The uh Gotti be hating on. Oh, Ashanti. Ashanti. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. Gotti wanna tell about thirty years day. later he fucked her. Yeah, to the day, okay. boy. So what? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Give me your top three moments in life, bro. Top three moments. Yeah. Shit deep. I'm gonna rewind it. I did a song. Okay, like I said, I was living in Minnesota at the time. Uh me and Malik did a song called uh we get bricks up in Detroit, birds and pounds. We move chips up in Detroit, we catch the mile. Put us rips up in Detroit. I push back, spinning and grinning. But when I stop, my rims keep spinning and spinning up in Detroit. I got locked up when that motherfucker came out. But that bitch went crazy in the city. I was writing home. I was like, I heard you on the radio. Yeah. Type of shit. But uh, it was Wipeout, Tough Tom, and Lil Dre. They okay. was sitting outside the club, and I walked up and shit. And they just started singing my verse. We yeah. be on the 23s. Uh, 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 yeah, you know what I mean? I was like, damn. Yeah. Okay. Ain't 42 Cheese a part of that whole little shit? Like, he came that's from. That's why my son. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I supposed to get him on. I supposed to get him on the show. Yeah, I yeah. got hit back. Yeah. Get back with him. Yeah, I know. I, I, met, I met Cheese when he was. I'm a Cheddar Boy, baby. Yeah, I, yeah I that's him on that bitch. Who's singing that shit? Since, like, since he got older. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't seen him. I haven't ran into him since he got older. But yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah, I just know that shit because that was my, uh, my, my neighbor Sam and them. His, his uh, stepson, that was like, they, that was his family. They were family. Yeah. So that's so cool. That's top moment. My, uh, the third moment, I was locked up. My son graduated high school and my mom and them went down there. Like, oh. my whole family went from Detroit down there to West Wisconsin. Sure. That's where my son lived at. Okay. And, uh, when he went to college. Okay. You gave me two. You gave me, uh, the song with what's name and then you gave me that. You, you yeah. owe me another one. My third one be, uh, <laughs> Oh me, yeah. my third one is right now finishing this this movie just finna drop. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, June tenth. Hell yeah, consignment for sure, Uncle consignment the movie. Hell yeah, give me your motherfucking uh, give me your your top three movies, dog, hood movies. Top three hood movies. Yep. Belly. This nigga hate Belly, dog. Belly changed my that life. That bitch was shot. The, Belly magnificent. My life. The way it was shot. Belly changed my life. Belly. Uh. Menace. Hell yeah, man. classic, classic. Menace. You want to say Boys in the Hood, but it's a movie called uh, Not Thicker Than Water, uh, Pimp. Okay. It's Mac called 10. Pimp? Mac 10. Okay, 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 okay. It's called uh, Mac 10 with Cat Williams and all the men and Pippi King in it. Damn, I don't know. I ain't hip. Man. That motherfucker so cold, bro. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even seen the movie Mac 10? The only thing I seen, like, ten, raw, I seen bro, something with Maxine. No, not for sure. I seen yeah. something, but I don't know the name. It might be. It might it's be. Called, a... It's called Pimp. Oh, it's, it's called, called Pimp. Pimp. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's called Pimp. Maxine. That's, okay. that's that's that's, that's uh, on the hood movie. Yeah, I ain't never seen it's that. Second shot in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Boy, crazy, bro. Duh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, 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 watch Pimp. Watch All right. Pimp. Give me your top three TV shows. Top three TV shows. Uh, right now. When I'm watching, uh, you talking about a series? It can be anything. Yeah, whatever. It could be old, new. Oh, you, oh, okay. Um, Snowfall. Hell yeah, that's my shit, dog. Fuck she hurt, Snowfall. She I'm, hurt me. I'm, I'm two seasons behind. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I'm, 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 I got to catch up. Yeah. <clears throat> but I do my own writing. So it's called Constructive Biting, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to listen to me leave verse because I go in there. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, I was in Studio One one time and... Uh, he was like, first off, I'm a street lord veteran, top of the world. You ain't even touched a letter yet. Mm -hmm. SL Sprees. And I came like, my verses, I sounded just like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I don't I want to hear no motherfucking yeah, verses. Exactly. I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, but it's just but, like you heard it. Yeah, yeah so I don't, watch, like, I don't watch shows and shit when I'm writing. Yeah, for you sure. That mean? makes sense. Yeah. But the Snowfalls, uh, McGraw Ave, for sure. Hell yeah. Um, nigga Thomas Harris. And the Dirty D. I'm going to fuck with all the Tracer. Yeah. All right, for sure. Hell, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog, uh, oh, shit, we ended off top three uh, foods. Top three foods. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on that hibachi shit. Crazy on the rice. Yeah. Benny Hanna's my favorite shit. Okay. Um, so that's two. Benny Hanna's. 
The watch is the same shit though. Yeah, same shit. Yeah, that's one. Um, put that one in. I ain't no big steak dude. I ain't into no really fancy foods, bro. I like yeah. some chili. Yeah. My, my mama food, <laughs> no, some shit no, like that. No, for sure. Me? I don't need no, some chili, nigga. Hell like, yeah. I never even taste lamb chops. Man, you know I had that shit when I was young, when I was a youngster. Yeah, I ain't never even taste no lamb chops. They be yeah. having them at the after hour back there. Them bitches be smelling good. Hell yeah. But I, I, I. No, some chili for sure. I hate yeah. when niggas say they only made chili in the wintertime. Fuck that. I yeah, made that uh, shit in the summer, everything, nigga. <laughs> some chili uh, is chili, nigga. Fuck that. I just mm-hmm. get mad. My mama like, it's hot. I ain't making no chili. Like what? Yeah. So now I got older, I made that shit, nigga. It'd be hundred degrees outside. I make some fucking chili. Fuck that. My wife don't eat it either, so that's more chili for me. <laughs> nigga, hell yeah, be happy as happy as hell. All right, dog. We end everything off with a drunk moment or a high moment. A funny story when you were drunk, high, or both. I don't think you did cocaine, so I ain't gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> hell of a drug. What's up? Hey, I done tried everything once. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, funny story, bro. Yeah, drunk high. A drunk funny story. Or both of them bitches, though. Well, I got so many of them. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> you have that one. <laughs> Man, no. I, I, I'm just trying to think of one. Yeah. That shit, you supposed to text me this. I already, already had it. My bad, dog. Because <laughs> uh... <laughs> I got so many of them. Yeah, it's not pinpoint one of them bitches. Mm-hmm. Funny story, bro. When I walked in the house, man. Oh, that, that drunk, shit was funny though. <laughs> when <laughs> I was drunk and the girl had the lingerie, yo, man, my, my baby mama, man. <laughs> that shit was funny, dog. dog yeah. Like, so that should be it. what did you do to make that shit up, though? Huh? What did you do to make that shit up? Like, as far as hurting her, you because you hurt her, nigga. She's trying to be sassy. She ain't playing this shit out, nigga. And you come in that bitch blowing candles out, turn lights on, asking why she got fucking sexy for you and shit. <laughs> No, but that's what I'm saying. I still to this day, I still haven't figured out how to be a romantic motherfucker yeah. because my mind is on business, money, yeah. this, 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 that, that third. And I ain't like, like, not the money to, I ain't no nigga to where every nigga, you owe me five dollars, nigga, I, sure. I need it. Yeah. I like, if you, I don't give a fuck about money like that. Yeah. But I'm talking about me as far as trying to leave a legacy okay. and do some shit for my kids, bro. I'd be so, I'd be so focused on that because cause I ain't really in their life because they live out of state. Yeah, you for know, sure. My, my yeah. Son, both my, my son played college basketball here, personal trainer now. Mm-hmm. He, uh, my oldest son, and then my 12 year old, he, uh, 13 year old, he, uh, he, uh, uh, Steph Curry on steroids. <laughs> okay, okay. Nigga don't miss. Yeah, for sure. He don't because he do a bullshit move, but then he do a floater like, and yeah. then still go in. I be like, bro, you. Yeah, for but sure. But I can't tell him nothing because he don't. He don't miss. He hey, don't shit, miss. yeah, don't you don't miss it? Fuck it. I, <laughs> like, you can't change somebody for him. They making that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. He, he, he said both of them out of town, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, shit, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, dog. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, whenever it's, you need me, baby, I'll pull it back up. Yeah, man. it was a pleasure having you on this bitch, dog. You want to leave anybody with some good words, some motivation, some shit, dog? Some good words is uh. So always good words, man. Just believe in yourself, man. Don't let nobody tell you what you can do. Sure. Don't let nobody block your dreams. I'd have so many motherfuckers tell me stop doing doing this, 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 that, and the third. I'd have motherfuckers stop telling me to rap. Yeah. And they just shared the video. You know what <laughs> okay, I mean? Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Like, and, uh, they check my dog out. He doing his thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you know. Not for sure. So, um, yeah, just, just basically that. Just just believe in yourself, man. You know, put God first. Yeah. And don't let the motherfuckers uh, social media yeah. Babyface Ray said it the best. He said, uh, social media you got motherfuckers scared to motherfucking uh get a job and do shit like that. No, you gotta go sure. work to put your plate on. Put yeah. it on. But have you a plan though. Don't yeah. just go work for the white man for the goddamn thirty years. Yeah, for sure. Without you know having what I, mean? some, yeah. I seen a post with a motherfucker with a work vest on under the thing and they say don't don't die for a job that'll have you replace me. No, for <laughs> sure. For the funeral. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So Play while you working that job, day. use it as a stepping stone to then create your there's too many businesses out here for you to start. No, for sure. Hell you yeah. be sitting here working for a motherfucker, you know? Fast, especially right right in this day and age mm-hmm. right now, that's the that's the thing to do now, dog. Use that shit as yeah, leverage. You can get on IG, I can fool. Boosting you, whoever, you know? Hell yeah. I mean, just, you get the check, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, for sure, man. For sure, man. My man, you seen the other nigga he got the new the new shit he be doing? Who that? Uh I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I'm picking a goddamn he had said bullshit shoe. I'm picking the Sacconis over the Air Max any day. You know oh, what I mean? Shit. I got, no, I got <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah no. but he's going viral. Man. He had plies to hop over there to my nigga, you just wanna argue. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause no. he's like he told me I'm taking Pat Poose and Remy Ma over Jay Z and Beyonce any day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? For sure. So yeah, like man. you know this queen me and Jet Ho, why you gonna take for sure, for sure but, man? Yeah, but it's his opinion at the end of the day. No, for so, sure. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, when y'all see me with that motherfucker uh mint chain, y'all know I signed the motherfucker uh, Black Chopper Records. Oh man, that's how I don't feel. <laughs> you can get back in the booth. We old nigga CD. <laughs> What you want for a verse, Herc? Come on over here. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, for sure, you man. To pull up, man. But no, nah, man. It's no cash money, my guy too. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Him and mm-hmm. uh, my nigga Valley, dog, mm-hmm. dropped that motherfucker shit. That shit hard. Oh, that's classic. Shout yeah, out yeah. to Stretch Money and Valley, man. Yeah, I have Valley yeah. this motherfucker, dog. Yeah. Stretch still got to come on this bitch, dog. Yeah, he did a little spin move, but he is spin me, but he has some nah, business. Come back. He has some yeah. business to take care nah, of shit, dog. A lot of niggas do that. Keem a spin, that little Keem spin, nigga. Niggas be giving me this all time. Well, they gonna see me on here. They gonna come. Yeah, for sure, man. But no, episode one fifty nine. Shout out to everybody, man. Black Chop on this motherfucker, dog. Y'all already know what it is. Voice of Detroit, podcast MVP. Ain't nobody doing it better, man.